her whole thing when she's first introduced is that she's evil and she wants to control every boy in the school because apparently that's what sucky by do. At least you said the plural part correct. Oh my gosh, shut up. I hate I you. Was just, I really was worried you were going to say succubuses or something. Octopuses. Octopussies. Succupussies. Oh my god! Hello. Try to say something. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. It's all fun and games until I come up with this. Your voice sounds different. Hello, hello. It's all fun, it's all and, all fun games. and games. What, did you fix your voice? What are you talking, are you talking about? about? Your voice sounds weird. It sounds deeper. I mean deeper. It sounds deeper. It's not. But it is. I mean, I am getting over a cold. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, maybe. Nah, shut up. <laughs> Why do you hate it so much? Because it's going to get stuck in my head, and then I'm never going to get it out of my head. It's you sound like you're on the verge of crying. It's awful. I've had a very stressful past two weeks, so... It's not your fault. I know it's not. It's not your fault. Okay, we get it. Vanny, it's not your fault. <laughs> Alright, we get it. Let me see, I'm still trying to adjust your volume. So... <laughs> I don't even think this is helping. Do say something. Well, I cry sometimes while I'm lying in bed Just to get it all out what's in my head now. <laughs> God damn it, I can't even remember the rest of the song. Alright. Wait, so how are we doing this? Because, oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, wait, are, are you recording now? Um, I'm about to. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, oh, good, I don't want people to hear me fucking sing the uh, awesome mystical powers. I mean, I could still put it in there. Oh, well, I mean, why would you do that? Because you've been singing that terrible song, so I'm sending you Legolas porn. Is this how we're opening this video? I mean, yeah, I could censor all of it. Is that one. how we're opening this video? Here, have another one while you're at it. I would rather not. Well, there it is. All for you. <laughs> no, seriously, are, are is is it started or is, are we just dicking around I mean, before? I, we... I'm gonna edit all this out because I'm trying to. Like I said, I was trying to figure everything out. I got everything, so we're good. Yeah. I just so need to hydrate heavy. myself ah. because this cough keeps coming. So. If, if silence comes on, it's because you know, I muted you. Ah, so we're recording right now, is that it? Uh, yes, yes we are. Okay, so, Vanny, today, we're reviewing the Horus Heresy. Oh my goodness, all 72 volumes? Hell yeah! Oh my goodness, this is so much better than what I thought this was gonna be. Right? Yeah, because it was gonna be that terrible manga, Rosario Vampire. Oh, oh, you reminded me. We actually need to do that instead. Mm, oh my, should have said a thing. <laughs> no, we're reviewing Rosario Vampire. Mm, it's so wonderful. So get your get your angry video game nerd like I would rather like blank blank blank. The you know what? Oh God, did you die? God, I think he's dead. He just faded off into the void. Yuki, are you there? This is not a good way to start your video. Oh my god, I really think he's dead, guys. Comrades, I think he's gone. What the fuck just happened? And now, recorded in Rasburg City, Rasburg, home of the famous Red Light District, it's time for Weekend at Vanny's. Just, just let me know when you start so we can begin. It's now recording. Oh, it's now recording? Okay. Yes, Hello. yes it is. Hello, YouTube. Oh my god, that was cringe. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome to another episode of Weekend at Vanny's. Oh so, Vanny, I, I understand you you read a little manga. Gosh, why do you do that so well? It's scary. <laughs> what do you mean? You do a pretty well Markiplier, so it's very, oh, very, very well, strange. Oh, Mocha. Oh, hey, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Mocha. <laughs> now, now you sound like that creepy, weird, animated guy on YouTube that does all the freaky animations. Yeah, <laughs> 
Hey yo, someone go bug me K in the show. I can't remember his name, but I'm pretty sure it's people know who I'm talking about. Who? Meat Canyon. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, that the, that voice that you just did with the mocha. Yeah, that was that was it. We need some milk. Oh God! Enough! Enough! Or this is it. We're gonna be one minute and thirty seconds into this, and that's it. Review's over. Ah. Uh. <laughs> So, Vanny, I understand that you read a little manga for a while while I was watching Gundam. Yeah, it was quite the journey, and um, that was it. I guess the video's over. Hey, everybody, goodbye! <laughs> Congratulations, you made it. <laughs> no. First off, would you like to say what that manga was? Um, it was Rosario Vampire. Seasons 1 and 2. Yes, because I watched both seasons 1 and 2 of Iron Blooded Orphans. Yeah, but that was actually a fun watch, and this was, mm, it was how, something. How dare you? It, it was something. So what you're saying is that you would have preferred to watch the anime of Rosario Vampire than read the manga. Oh, 100%, yes, I would have, because it would have taken me so much less time, and it actually has a direction unlike this manga, which we will get into. You are the only person I know that is like, ugh, the manga's better. <laughs> well, the anime is better, yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> thank you for correcting me. Because the manga is terrible, so I have to set the record straight. It's it's a mess. The manga is not bad. It's not like amazing, but it's not bad. However, I do think it's amazing because you know nostalgia. Exactly. I was just about to say you have Hello? Your nostalgia glasses on. Hello, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. I can't believe it. What? What's? Do you got to do the video game nerd guy next? This mug is a load of f**k. I'd rather eat a tarantula and smash my f**k with a rock than read this manga. So where do we begin with Rosario Vampire? Well, our story begins. Wait, do you want the actual beginning, or do you want, like, where the story would actually start? Oh, since no, you no, know no. This is a whole review of this god-awful manga, so we're going over the whole thing. Not chapter by chapter, so but... From the beginning, so which has nothing to do with where the end. the manga, like, begins if you read it, and not, you know, where the manga would actually start. Oh, no, <laughs> if you know the story. Me, no, you made me read every single volume of this. Ten, I have the phone. My, my phone is in front of me right now. My phone's in front of me right now. One, season one, ten volumes. Season two, fourteen volumes. Twenty-four volumes. You oh, made me read of this. It's not, it's not like Gundam. The first series of Gundam has like 60 different whole <laughs> seasons of bullshit. Oh, how dare you? Uh uh. I'm what not gonna let that one slide. That has movies. nothing to do with this. You wanna complain about something be too long? <laughs> Gundam. No. Absolutely not. Mm. It so, really you isn't. Want, you wanna start with season one, episode one. Well, I mean, I'm not saying, like, let's go chapter by chapter, but the people need to know this whole thing is just literally three-fourths etchy trash, and then the last quarter of it finally becomes somewhat decent. Only for mm. it to bungle the end, and it just becomes stupid again. It just repeats. Okay, then. So, what you... So, our story begins on a bus, and here we're introduced to our main protagonist. Boring. And what is his name, Vanny? Aono Skune. Or, you know, for English people, Skune Aono. Oh, whatever. It should be named Boring Dumb. Mm-hmm. So, what you're saying is that Mikazuki is still at the bottom of the barrel and Skune is above him. Like, a smidgen above, only because Mikazune is that bad. It's not because Skune is great. <laughs> Me, do it again? Yes, yeah, like the, 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 these are both terrible. They're just both terrible. Doing the editor, editor Vanny put up the fusion dance between Goten and Trunks, but with Skune and Mikazuki's faces on them. Mikazune, oh my goodness. I did it again. I can't believe it. 
But like he like he shows up and it, he's just your basic harem protagonist, which you know I'm fine with because it's an ex- he's your everyday he's your everyday Japanese high schooler. Exactly, like, and you you sold it to me as an etchy, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I know what I'm getting into, etchy comedy, the boobies here, panty shot here, blah, 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 I mean, and it was okay, like, it was predictable, it was, like, torture, it just became torture later on after everyone gets introduced, but I guess we'll get into that first, because we have to get into these character introductions. Yes, so he's going to this school called Yokai Academy. Uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge about what the plot's about, judging by the name. Don't even say that because the, everything that happens in season one has nothing to do with the ending to the whole thing. But go on. No, th- th- okay. So he's there looking at like papers and paperwork and bull. Like, oh, how did I get into this mess? I don't want to go to the school. Nah, 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 nah. And how he got to the school was he failed his entrance exams and instead of waiting a whole other year because Japan's weird like that to get into high school again, his dad drunkenly stumbles upon a priest that drops entry papers to yokai. So he gets shipped off. It's like Harry Potter. I just realized it. It's just like Harry Potter, only it's not an orphan, and he doesn't have a stupid lightning bolt forehead. Just <laughs> oh, Vanny, would you like to explain to what the pun is behind his name is? Yeah, is there like some type of food or something? He's like... A- yeah, it's, it's always food, because, you know, Japanese naming conventions are lazy like that. You know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, they... they- do the whole thing with the yeah. food too so but would you like to explain what the pun is or That's, do you not know like legitimately i mean outside of the food i i don't think so i mean was what there a is the food meeting? no what, what is the food wasn't it like um a meatball or something yes it's yakitori chicken meatballs yeah there it is which so he gets off that what? I I eat it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Just you know. Oh, uh, you eat it. Eat, I wouldn't eat him. I would eat the food. You little. Mm. You, you 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 spread him open and just. What is the matter with you? Goodness gracious! You're down bad for Tsukune. I get it. No, 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 no. But I know who you're down bad for. Besides the two people, hmm. but we'll get oh. to them eventually. Of course, of course. Okay, so. We need to get into these characters because there yes, isn't yes, a yes. harem without the harem. Yes, and the first girl we meet immediately, and she crashes into him with her bike and kills him. Hmm. I wish it did, and that would have ended the whole thing, and we would have been fine. Yeah, she cripples him for life because she rams directly into his spine. Uh, her name's wish. Mocha. Her name's Mocha Akashia. Hmm. Terrible. And she's a vampire, if you haven't guessed. She is the Rosario vampire. Stop using it like a verb. But that's what it is. She is the Rosario vampire. God, that's the I hate you. I mean, we'll get into it later, but I mean, it's it, it makes sense. Yes, yeah. yeah. So they go to the school. They're like, oh, let's be friends. <laughs> And then it turns out that the school is actually for monsters, and Skune is a human boy. Mm, scandalous. So yes, so he gets attacked by this asshole <sighs> named uh, Shizokobia. God, you really remember what... the name, or did you pull that out of your? No, I remember the name. You have no idea how obsessed I was with this. He's the deal looking guy, right? Yes. Okay. And so. Scooter gets attacked. Mocha like is like, no, leave me alone. You're a jerk. Nee. They go up to the school and she explains that, oh, if you take off my rosary over my tits, you know, I'll turn it to a scary vampire. Mm, go ahead, keep going. What about what's going on about this scary vampire? So people it, call her multiple things. They call her Urasan, which I think is stupid. They call her Inner Mocha, which, eh, I guess. Or they call her Shin Mocha, because, you know, true Mocha. But what she really is, is she goes Rosario oh. mode. It's not, oh my god, it's not That's like a what thing. happens. So what happens is Sukune, with his all-powerful, you know, boring blandness, pulls the ros- rosary off of Mocha. Then Mocha 
magically transforms. No, 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 we gotta do it. No, 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 Vanny, we gotta do it like the anime. Her butt grows bigger and her tits grow bigger, and the narrator goes, When the rosary seal over her breast is removed, Mocha's innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. Yes, she turns Rosario mode. That's what I've been saying. It's like, you know, Super Saiyan. Um, well, I did at all. This is the same thing. Ros Rosario mode. Not K.O., it's Kayo. That's what the English stuff says K.O. Ken, doesn't it? Yes, but that's so before that's they... So then that's what I'm going to go with. That's what I'm going to go with, K.O. Ken. Okay, then. I mean, that's what it said. I mean, I don't know Are what to tell you. Are you going to also go with the fact that Bardock is a brilliant scientist? I don't remember that part, but... He was an avid warrior, but she was a brilliant scientist. Anyway, so Rose, Rose, she goes Rosario mode, and then yes. she does, she, then she does her little she, kick, and then that's at the end. Yeah, she she kills Sh Saizo, and that's the end of uh, pretty much that first chapter. Pause. Wait. Pause. Pause. No one actually <laughs> dies in this, except towards the end. But no one dies. So don't even with the he kills him. No, he, he comes Yeah, back. but that's only it's only after when Simon Belmont shows up. Shut up. Simon doesn't show up. Yes, he does. I mean, in that little video game like thingy thing, but like he doesn't no, actually no. show up. He shows up. No, he doesn't. You're lying to the people. I could dream though. Yeah, you're evil for that. Do not mislead the good comrades. How dare you? <laughs> okay, so next chapter. We're introduced to Second Girl, and arguably one of the best. Mm. I love her. She's the best. Yeah, but we'll get into why she was the best up until a certain point, and then I lost all respect for her. Hey, 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 hey. She, I can fix her. You can't. You can't. I can fix her. So who is this okay. mystical person, Yuki? Who is this person? Her name. Her name is Kurumu Kurano, and she's a succubus. She's basically Morgan. Did you say a succubus? A succubus, yeah. It's a succubus. No, it's a... Oh my god, fish. What? Quit commenting on how I pronounce <laughs> things. You're the one that got on to me about K.O. Ken, so... Succubus. Okay, then. A yeah, so she's a, she's a demon whore. Oh! No. Is that better? To, that's an interesting way to put it. I mean, not wrong, but, you know. Is that a better way to put it? I guess. I mean, you're not wrong with it, but... Okay, so, her whole thing is she starts off evil, and then she becomes, you know, one of the main girls that Scooty's like, oh, do I love you or do I not? Never did. Yeah. <laughs> and so, her whole thing when she's first introduced is that she's evil, and she wants to control every boy in the school, because apparently that's what sucky by do. At least you said the plural part correct. Oh my gosh, shut up, I hate I you. Was just, I really was worried you were going to say succubuses or something. Octopuses. Octopussies. Succupussies. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so, she wants to take over the school by charming every man there to find her destined one. Ugh. Who is the destined one, according to her? Uh, it's Kune, because he saves her from Inner Mocha. Mm. Because Inner Mocha was willing to, like, cripple her for life. And Scooter's like, no, she's not evil. She, deep down, she's a really good person. Nah, 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 nah. Friendship. Nah. I think it's just because he liked her boobs. I mean, she does have a nice pair. I will give you that. Out of yeah. all of the pairs that are in this manga, Kurumu has the best one. So. And the next girl we're interested in introduced to. Vanny, do you have any particular, like, interest in this one, or do we just skip her like the manga does? Um, hold on, I'm actually, I got the manga in front of me here, and I'm swiping through, and I, I don't know who it is. He's not even that important. Who, who? Yukari Sendo. Oh, how dare you? The little lolly, she's great! I mean, yeah, she's funny at sometimes, but other than that, she's just there for, like, lolly bait and stuff like that. <laughs> She really is just there for, like, the lolly thing and, like, explaining stuff that nobody asked. It's so annoying. I prefer Yukari, like, explaining <laughs> over the stupid <laughs> bat in the anime. I <laughs> hate that bat. Well, I mean, the bat's not so bad compared to, you know, half the other crap that happens in this manga. It finally took 15 seconds! <laughs> 
hate it's, him. It's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's a lot more useful yeah, than right. Yukari. It's just unfortunate because Yukari could have been something, but she just underutilized, and it's just like, the, oh, look, Moe and Lolly. Well, and that's it. Yeah, so Yukari is introduced, and she hates Scooter at first because he's hanging out with Mocha. She wants Mocha to be her girlfriend. And so shenanigans happen, and she ends up voodoo controlling Skune because she's a witch, and makes Skune grub Kuramu, and it's very funny, and then he pulls down her underwear and shoots blood directly up into her- I'm sorry, what? <laughs> when part does that yeah. happen? In the anime. <laughs> oh, okay, I was gonna say, because if manga, that did not happen, I don't remember that yeah. happening. He shoots blood up his out his nose, but it hits her like directly, like near her. Or whatever. My goodness. So, so he basically bidets her with blood. <laughs> yeah. So Tune goes off at her like, "Oh, nobody likes you. You're so me, 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 me. And Yukari's like, "That's fine. I I don't care." Crying, running away. She almost gets eaten by a lizard people, aka the government. Uh, oh, oh. Can't say that on YouTube. I have to censor that whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, she gets e almost eaten by lizard men, and Scude saves her. And now Yukri's like, I want Scude and Mocha at the same time, and it's really creepy. Yeah, it's it's weird. She she is a weird one. Like I said, underutilized though, but yeah. So do I wish I was there. <laughs> okay, so after all that happened, oh wait, no, we forgot Gein. Oh, that's we forgot right. Hold on, let me go yes, back. Gein, yes, Gein, the Gein, werewolf Gein, hunk. Gein, Gein game Morioka uh, happens before Yukari. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he. We'll get into. I, I mean, go ahead. Let's briefly get it. We'll dive into him more later. But yes, let's briefly catch everyone up on who this guy is. Gein game Morioka is basically Master Roshi, but he takes pictures. And he's not an old man. Yeah. He wears a headband. He's hot. Yeah, and he's a pervert, and he gets screwed in trouble with all the girls, and Mocha and Kuru have to prove him innocent. Oh, wait, how does, so, how, does, uh, how does Rosario Mocha be him? By kicking him in the face. Ah, uh, okay, just want to make sure that we're on the same track with the kick in the face for every single fight that happens. You are such a petulant child. I'm just saying it's repetitive, and I love Kamen Rider, and that always ends in a Kamen Rider kick. But Mocha kicks are f***ing stupid. Uh, okay, so the next thing that happens is after Yukari is introduced, we're introduced to one of the main villains of the series, but not really. But yes, hmm. we're introduced to Kuyo. I don't remember his last name, but it's Kuyo. Wait, you're talking about the the, the hallway monitors? Yeah. Yes. You're really gonna call him like a main player just well, because he, he shows up more than once? Just because he shows up for one fight? He shows up more than once, and he's technically Skurde's rival. He is bull****. I'm not letting you get away with that. But he is not Skurde's rival, and he shows up one other time no, after this. No rival. Says Street Fighter 4. He is not a rival at all. No. He is the Akuma to Skurde's Ryu. If if that's the case, he would have been reoccurringly showing up, but he doesn't do okay. it at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your <laughs> anger out later. So it, it's coming. He kills Scooter. He just straight up kills Scooter. I mean, and this is like book three or two. I don't remember. He just kills Scooter, and that's it. But then Mocha shows up. And like, oh no, my Scooter! Then I'll bite your neck and turn you into a vampire and bring you back to life. And Scooter beats the shit out of him. If only it ended that way, but no. He had to get his, you know, Mocha's blood We're not there into yet. his. We're not at that part yet. Very calm down. I'm just saying, it's it's coming. Calm down. You could get your feelings out about Scooter after we introduce the other two. Mm, okay, go ahead. So, the next thing that happens, we're gonna skip over the one that actually comes next for a bit to introduce other best girl, because the other one was an actual arc that you hated for some reason. Wait, hold on, I'm trying to catch up on here because I just passed the Kuyo fight. Uh, I'm talking about, uh, which is Noel. Which is, oh, Ruby? Yeah, we're gonna skip over her for a bit because that's an actual oh. arc. 
over. It, you could skip over her completely because she's another useless one that's only there for pervert jokes. Doesn't do anything besides be, be a masochist. Yeah, we that's, might as well explain Ruby. It's literally it. Yeah, we might as well explain. Ruby is a, a witch. Ruby Tojo. She's a little. She's an older witch. She's a masochist, and her first appearance is that she wanted to commit genocide against the human race for burning witches. Like that would have been cool to build upon, but they don't. They just relegate her, her to a pervert. Yes, her adopted mother figure, Lady Oyataku, I think it, she's called. That's a woman. Anyway. She hates humans and is willing to kill Ruby because Ruby starts changing her mind after Scooty is like, oh, we're not so bad, we're friends. And Lady What's-Her-Face decides, nah, I'm gonna kill everybody by using my sunflower monsters. Yeah, do you hear, do you, comrades, do you hear how ridiculous this sounds? I mean, if you thought Cybermen was stupid, get a load of this. Lady Oyotaku is not in the f***ing anime, it's all Ruby and she's insane. She's like, oh, mother, look, we have new visitors. No, kill them all, Ruby. Ruby kills them all. The punks are under your skin. <laughs> Take the punks under your skin, really? Like the, the Get them out. <laughs> get them oh out, Ruby. <laughs> yeah, so that happens during summer vacation. Yeah, you, they, we get a little they, um, moment. They go on a tangent with their little summer vacation. Ruby shows up. Yeah. By the way, the whole perverted joke thing doesn't even happen until, like, Mid season two, <laughs> like it's a complete yeah. afterthought. Like it's if it was from the beginning, I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, it's funny. But no, it's just a it's just a ploy to get the little horny high school boys reading this and be like, oh, Ruby, oh my goodness. I AKA never liked you. Ruby. Yeah, AKA you. I'm looking at you, high school boy. I didn't like Ruby. This. Also, how dare you? I was in middle school. Oh God, you were a child. I was in like seventh grade, eighth grade. I don't remember. You were a baby. Yeah, well, I saw girls Bravo while I was in sixth grade. No wonder you are the way you are. <laughs> what, Vanny? I can't just watch anime. Well, we know what happens after you watch the anime. I don't do any of like that. Mm -hmm. I, my first exposure to etchy anime was actually to Love Rue. But why? Because my cousin was like, hey, check this out. I'm like, oh, cool. What is this? Uh, and then I found it years later. I'm like, oh, yes! Anyways, alright, so yes. moving on from Ruby, because, you know, yes, she's irrelevant, Ruby, yeah. and that's pretty much all Ruby. you have to know about. Who's after yeah. Ruby? Go ahead, we have, we have the waifu of the series, and I don't think I'm going to be contested on that. A lot of people really do like her. Mizore Sheriyuki, or Mizori. Misery, whatever you want to call her. Misery, as in miserable. <laughs> you proud of yourself? <laughs> I'm just saying, she, 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 her one claim to fame is that she shows up, pops up, like, haha, look, she's so funny and quirky, hang out in trash cans, <laughs> trash wife. It only happens one time. It happens a couple times, Yuki. It Remember? only happens one time that she pops out of the garbage. She just like pops twice. out of like a fan. Happens like twice. Mm. Trash. So man. yes, Misery is a Yuki Ona, and that's where I got my name from. Yeah, you're slaying Yuki Ona, aren't you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were. Misery's okay. Like it's not that I, I, I don't hate her. She's just. Yeah. Eh. She's like, I don't know what kind of dare she is, because she's not yandere, she's not, like, insane. Jesus. But she has, like, that cool, like, egg, Whatever the like, stalking um, dare is, that thing. Yes, that. She, she's a stalker. And she's like, oh, Scooty, I really like how you write up your <laughs> newspaper articles, and it really speaks to me. Blah, blah, blah. You know, now that I think about it, that, that all got thrown out of season two as well. Oh, yeah, they don't do newspaper club anymore. Th that they completely just... just yeah, like, newspaper club, that was it. The newspaper club, we gotta save the world! No, oh, whatever, all right. Um, so, Mizore, so yeah, Mizore is the Yukiona. Yes, she's looking, she's like, oh, Skune, I love you. Like, the other guy I liked was mental, but you, I like you, because you're weak. Empathetic. He is pretty weak and pathetic. So, it turns out that she was, uh, assaulted by the gym coach, Mr. Kotsubo. Octopus guy, right? Or squid? Yes. Skillet, yes. Whatever. Yeah, he's a kraken. The kraken, there you go, that thing. He's a kraken. She confessed her love for him at one point, and he was like, alright, cool. 
and tried to do things to her, and she wasn't down with it. So that's why you haven't seen her up until now, because she was like, "No, I'm not going outside." Tentacles. Mm. Vanny, no. Oh yes, Vanny, yes. Yeah, and then Mr. Crossbow pours Scoot in the hallway and like unzips his pants. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. That would make Scoot like a lot, a little bit better, actually. <laughs> And Zune, and Zune. See, you said it too. It's I know. Zune. Because they're both terrible. It's because he kind of looks like Scooney. You know, I guess, like, in a weird sort of way, kind of. No. So, he corners Scooney in the hallway, and he's like, hey, f*** off. You know, she's mine. Like, if you touch her, I'll kill you. And Scooney's like, all right, cool. And, uh... He turns into a vampire again because he gets his neck broken. Mm. And Scoot basically grabs his face and crushes his skull and throws him off a cliff. But somehow he survives. Because everyone survives. Nobody f- dies in season one. And then Vizra comes back and she's like, I cut my hair. Do you like it? And that's her look from now on. Yeah, but that was it. In the anime, I will say this. Instead of it being just Mr. Kotsubo, Misery actually takes him out, like, immediately, because he was trying to molest her after Scooter was like, No, go away! F*** you! Leave me alone! And the fight is basically against Misery's, like, emotions made out of red ice for some reason. What the f***? Okay, well, that's weird, but, I mean... Like, the, the icicles are like... Mommy told me not to hurt animals anymore, but Mommy's not here. Blood for the blood god. Oh my god. So, th- that's your main harem for now. Yeah, that, that covers everyone in the harem. And now we get onto the meat and potatoes of mm. what Scude has in store. That's so scary. after all that, all that bull <laughs> happens... The guy from the first chapter shows up again. In the anime, he's an orc. In the manga, he's like a hybrid monster. Yeah, yeah. He shows up and he's like, I f- hate you, Scoot. I don't know. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna kill you with all my reject friends. Yeah, so. so it's like the clan of misfit yokai. And yeah. they become like the. Oh main antagonists of season one. Do you remember what they're called, Vanny? Uh, the, um, the half-breed I don't remember. They're called monstrels. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? So, they go and they corner Scoot and beat the shit out of him. And Mocha shows up to save his once again by injecting her blood into him, turning him into a vampire. But oops, they did it one too many times, and now Skune is irreversibly damaged. Mm, if only. Turning him into, what is it, Vanny? A Rosario ghoul. It, just ghoul. Stop. He was away. But, but he was injected with the Rosario Mocha's blood to become Rosario ghoul. No, it's just ghoul because he's a zombie. He's a reanimated corpse. So stupid. So stupid. Yeah, so he's a mindless monster now. And he's like, oh, <laughs> kill, kill, stop, blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. If only. That would have made him better if he turned into a Cornite Berserker or something. That would have been better. Yeah, so he, so he beats all the monstrels, but instead of, you know, oh, look at that, Scooter, we won, we we did it. Scooter gets on Saizo's chest, I think it was, and starts punching his face into a bloody mess. And they're like, holy sh**, stop it, what's wrong with you? Kuruma grabs his arm, and instead of him being like, oh, Kuruma, whatever, he plunges his hand through his stomach, which I don't know how they fix that. Yeah, I don't either. Like, I'm actually flipping through it right now, and I don't see how they... Because, you know, it's the fight with the half-breed guy, and he's over here in ghoul mode, and yes. there's a punch, there's a panty shot oh, of nice. Kurumu. And the then Mocha, Mocha seeing Krub on the floor, she's like, I'm gonna kill him. He he needs to be put down. Like, it's so stupid. Like, I'm, I'm like, skimming through it, and it's like what you said. Like, whoa, wait, wait, stop. He's already unconscious. Don't kill him. Like, he was just trying to kill him. Like, I don't understand it. It's all funny games until Scooney turns into ghoul mode. Yeah, but Scooney's a nice guy. He's oh, like, whatever. You know he's not. 
Shune tips his fedora at every woman. Dick is what he is, and you know it. We'll get into why he's such a dick. Yeah, so Roku's like, I'm gonna kill him. He needs to be stopped. He's suffering. I'm gonna kill him. And Kuruma's like, don't kill him! And then Roku's like, I'm gonna kill him. And so they get into a fight, and Skune ends up, like, whipping Mocha's ass for a bit, until the priest that Skune's dad gets the papers from shows up. He turns out to be the headmaster of the school. They call him the Exorcist. Mm. He puts a cross on Skune's head, I think it was. It's, that's, yes, it's what happened, yes. They, they basically kill him for a bit until he wakes up and is like, what the f*** happened? And they're like, dude, you freak the f*** out. What's wrong with you? And then he looks at his arm and that's where he gets his his lock, his holy lock, yeah, which so restricts it's, it's his chastity belt, his ghoul chastity belt, where... Yeah, basically, it, it stops him from becoming a, a zombie. Yes. And if he becomes a zombie again, they won't be able to save him this time. So, they would have to kill him. Which also gets thrown out, by the way, but, you know, whatever. No, 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 no. By that, they mean if you go on full-on monster, you can't come back. But he could do it, like, little by little, you know, Kaioken times two, Kaioken times three, times four, times five. He can't go Super Saiyan, is basically what that means. Even though we both know what happens at the end of this manga. Mm. <laughs> Yes, he dies. I wish. <laughs> anyway, so after all this is done, and this is almost the end of season one, thank God, then you know who shows up. Yagami Light. Mm -hmm. It is the parents, because it's parents' day. Oh, you're skipping. Oh, you. Oh, you oh yeah, really that's right. Yeah, no, about... no, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You're right. <laughs> You, I you thought that was the finale. The I thought that was the finale. That's why I was skipping it. You see what I mean? Why this this <laughs> manga makes no sense? Like you would think, no, wow, no, that's no, the no, finale. No, 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 no. I just don't remember because I haven't read it in such a long time. I remember the story beats. I just don't remember where they go. Stupid is what it is. Say you so, can yeah. no. You can bitch and moan all you want after we finish season one and then we move on to season two. I mean, it, all the bitching and moaning has to accumulate into season two because season one... Okay, anyways. Yagami Light shows up. It's not like Yagami. Shut up. It totally is if you look at him. It's ju it's literally him with glasses. I don't remember this guy's name. He, he takes a potato chip and he eats it. That's not... <laughs> Huh. I have his name somewhere. Hold on, let me see. Kiria was his little boy toy with the goat eye. Um, yes, the the Hokuto, chimera. Hokuto, 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 Hokuto really. Hokuto, yeah. Hokuto. Yes, like we got him. We sure like got a Hokuto out of the board. I tell you what. Oh my goodness! It's Light Yagami. Five. We'll call him Light because so, I won't remember his name. So Yagami so, shows up, and what happens then? White shows up, and he's the he's the head of the student council. Mm. Surprise, surprise! And he looks at Skude and is like, "Skude, I'ma be your best friend." Oh my god, a best friend! I've never had one of those. You're so cool. <laughs> I'm biting my tongue right now. Keep going. So, Light goes and makes Skude his vice president of the student council. And he's like, Skude, we're gonna d do great things. You and me. And then, surprise, surprise, he's evil. Because that's how everyone is. Yeah. But he has a grandiose plan. He's gonna kill everyone at the school and the human world. By combining them both into reality. Mm. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. So he ends up becoming the leader of Antithesis, which is the dumbest name for a antagonist faction I've ever seen. But here we are. Okay. But it's not... okay, because it actually gets worse in Season 2. <laughs> this guy doesn't exist in the manga either. You mean in the anime? In the anime, yes, thank you. I, it's so... you it's, I mean, it's... Well, number one, probably because, you know, it's like Yagami. He's going to get copy, you know, Christopher Hart's going to get copyright for 
using I'll my dare you. You said you weren't going to do this. Do what? What did I do? I just said the manga artist's name. Christopher Hart made Rosario Vampire. Akisa Ikeda. Christopher Hart. That's what it is. You've seen the How to Draw Akisa Manga books. Ikeda. It's the same style. No, it's not. But now that I think about it, in season two, when the style does change, it's, you know... Reflective of Death Note, kinda. Yes, it looks very Death note So, once again, it just goes back to Christopher Hart using Light Yagami. Vanny, I will leave. And you, you can review do? it by yourself. I will review it by myself. Have a wonderful conversation with myself. Me, myself, and I. You know what? I might even call Ozawad. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? <laughs> God. He'd be like, I've always seen one GIF, and that's of them doing this, and that's it. Well, we'll just have to go with rating their f on a scale of 1 to 10 in a deep dive on <laughs> deviant art. <laughs> oh my god, if, if this video just switches to just reviewing the weird fetish art off of deviant art. Oh my gosh, that could be a whole other series just for yeah. reviewing. TV that. Like, just to take the submarine, diving down into the bowels of deviant art. Down and down into the deep. Who knows what we'll find beneath that? This room is going to hit it in our mountain's core. Why is there a song? Born under crowds. <laughs> Have you never heard that song? I've never heard. No, I haven't. You've never heard <laughs> Diggy Diggy Hole? Oh, is that what that? Oh God! I mean, I heard the chorus. God, I, 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 I don't. I don't. Oh, God, no, 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 please. I'm begging you, please, no, no. Okay. Derailed. <laughs> right. Season one is done. No, 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 no. We're not done yet. We're not done. <laughs> what else was we, there? We need to go over all the other stuff before we can get into season two. So, we didn't even explain what happens with White. He gets beaten. Yes, by he gets Spoonie. beaten. And they stop his plan of combining both realities. But Stupid. after he gets beaten, he tells Skude, you know, I was just like you. I'm also a ghoul. I wasn't always a monster. And then it shows him in his like life before coming to Yokai, where he was abused by his dad. Well, I read about and whatever. And then he goes to Yokai Academy as a human and then becomes a monster. So he's a reflection of Skune. Ooh, deep meaning. Oh my god, it was so cringe. Mm. It's so bad. Anyway, so Skuni ends and up then, winning. Well, shit, we finally get downtime. And what happens is Parents Day, Vanny. We get Parents Day. We get to meet the parents. Mm. We get to meet Aretha, which is Kurubu's mom, who she lied to about Skune. Oh, yeah, look, this is my this is my boyfriend, Bob, look! And she's like, oh, you're my daughter's boyfriend, I might have to take you for myself. And you know, that, I... That just, you know what, I just realized, it's just it's just enabling your MILF fetish. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, and she straight up tells Skune, you know, if you ever need practice, I'm always available. See what I mean? Yep, and then in... And... The case of Misery, you get to meet Surada. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I don't know. Surada. She, she just looks like a Florida mom whore. How dare. Th no, that's for <laughs> That's for Kermu's mom, Florida oh, whore. That's right, that's right. Wait, so who is it this again? Surada is Misery's mom. She wears the kimono. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm tracking now. I'm tracking now. I apologize. Yes, and then she tell Misery tells her mom, oh yeah, this is my fiance. And then her mom looks over at Kuru and Mocha and she goes, Who are they? Uh that's just some <laughs> that he dumped for me and that's uh that's a stalker. Which, I, mean, that's, I mean that's it's good. I mean that the, I will say that the parents day thing it was pretty funny. It had some good moments, so it's not but all that's negatives for me. What school going on? And what happened was Mocha wanted to spend the day with Skune at the festival because she never got to go to one. Mm, tragic. Poor and Mocha. then you know the whole parent <laughs> happened, and Misery is like, "Oh, I was thinking about myself this entire time. I guess I'll make an ice clone to keep my mom distracted and Kurum was mom distracted, so Skune can go hang out with Mocha because she's nice like that." And then some like 
like, <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> be offensive, but this dude straight up just looks like a cholo. Wait, which guy? The f dude that shows up at the festival for some reason, the one that looks like a f like gangbanger, like wannabe, like that super like cholo looking mother. Hold on, I'm trying. I just got to the chapter. Hold on, let me see if I can. Oh, yes, that... yes, 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 yes. The one that threatens to assault Mocha and points a gun at Scude. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he and he has the rape face on too, like when he's got Mocha. And his clutches. Yeah. So, Scude, like, pistol whips him until he's, like, in a coma. And then Mocha and Scude get to spend the day together, you know, after Kurumu and Misere show up at the exact same place with ice clones. And they have to explain, no, we're not with Scude, but I want to be. It's the weirdest thing, too. The whole ice clone power or whatever. I don't know. Well, this, is the weird, this is the weird quirky ability, I guess. Well, the next thing that happens... You... I don't know how you feel about this chapter, Vey. How do you feel about this chapter? Which one? With the cousin or whatever? Yeah, it's Lilith's mirror. So, the, first off, this cousin was useless. The whole chapter was useless because she doesn't show up again. No, Except she for does. In one pa Stop it. Wait, pause. You're just gonna say, oh yeah, the Yeti shows up. Yeah, and, like one panel shows up. Whoopie ding ding. Yeah, so his cousin shows up and she's just like, I'm gonna go figure out what's going on with the school because I haven't heard shit. And throughout the whole thing, she finds a mirror that shows, like, people's true forms to her. And yes. she's just like, oh my god, monsters! <laughs> special effects she's basically hercule throughout the whole thing it's a trick i know it is i can prove it's a trick yeah pretty much that's pretty much it yeah it's and then will is like no you wanted to see this look here's a cyberman pretty much do you remember that that there's a <laughs> cyberman yes it does, it does show up randomly i do remember that yes and then, then Scooter the shows up and he's like, what the fuck are you doing here? And she's like, I came to take you home. And it's like, no, I'm, I'm fine here. You need to leave, though. And it's like, oh my god, Scooter's part of the Yakuza. But little does she know. Mm. Who are all these whores crowding around my cousin? <laughs> she was weird, too. Like, she, I, I, she had that, like, you know. A typical cousin, not cousin, lover well, vibe fetish thing with Skune. Well, you have to understand, Vanny, it's Japan, and the only girls that you know in Japan are usually, like, cousins or childhood friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I get it. I'm just saying. I could have done better. I mean, literally, it's just Skune with you know, things in her hair. That's it. Like, no difference. What? Same what? haircut what? and everything. You don't, want, you don't want Rule 63 Skune? I would never... And I love Rule 63, but with Skune, no, never. You do you putting up the f picture of Skune turning into a woman and book up be like, ah, <laughs> I could get used to this. That's right. Didn't that happen in season two or whatever? Like a second when you no. cross dress? Yes, but we're not there yet. <laughs> Oh, goodness. We're How much... Season one is done. No, I mean, the, the, the season done. one is done. We're like, almost done. What else was no, there? No, 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 because then they go... Because then Scooter goes home, because after the whole thing happens with Lilith's mirror, the school gets destroyed, and they're like, okay, we need to go rebuild, go home. Which is weird. So Scooter gets to go home for a chapter, and everybody shows up at his house. Mocha shows up wanting to visit because, you know, she's nice. Kurubu's in his bed because she wants to f*** him. Misery is in her cl in his closet because she climbed in there and fell asleep. And Yukari shows up through the back door because she's awkward about. <laughs> and then hijinks ensue. Vanny, remember the hijinks? Hmm. I mean, the whole the whole manga is full of hijinks. So where Scooter goes to take a shower and Kurubu comes in and is like, "I want you, Scooter." She sucks on his finger. Yes. Yes. But For some reason, if it, if it means her, it comes out of the bathtub and she's like, no, it freezes her, and then the towel falls off a of Kurumu and Skure, like just covers Misery in blood. This is weird. And then, like, Kurumu, not Kurumu, um... And then Kurumu and Misery get into a fight in the human world, and they're like, ah, no, you all have to go back. But, like, me, me, the weird thing is that Mizore is wearing, like, a full, like... He's wearing, like, a... Like, like, the, like the bathing school, suit. Yeah. Like swimsuit, yeah. Weird. But with her stockings on, which is weird. Are they on, really? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, they are. Well, that's odd. See what I mean? 
weird. But like the whole thing with season one, because you would think that it would have ended with Light Yagami, and that was it. Like that would be a good bridging point. Like first, and then with Light Yagami just randomly showing up and being like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be your friend." That would have been nicer if he showed up in the beginning and build a friendship just so that way he could screw over Tsukune. But that didn't happen. And instead, like, the big bad guy ends up losing in, like, what, three-fourths of the way in the, at the end of season one? It's, like, come on. Yeah. yeah. It's just terrible. Like, it's just, there's no direction. No. And the direction gets worse in season two. You just didn't read it when I read it. <laughs> yes, when you were naive and stupid. Yes, I know. You just don't know. You just you didn't wasted- know any better. That's what it was. You just didn't know any better. You wasted all your time with Gundam. No, no. I would rather watch Gundam Wing ten times over than to ever jump back into Rosario Vampire. If they ever did a season three, God forbid, I will jump <laughs> back on Gundam Wing. <laughs> Very. Skuna, I'm here. Some of your good boy. Come here, fool My God. <laughs> it's terrible. It's just terrible. So. <laughs> so season, season one two. is done. It's done. That's it. Oh, it's so bad. Like, it's just, mm. And then it's like, oh. And then the whole time, by the way, while I was reading this, and I'm, you know, I give, I'm giving Yuki updates. I really, hey, I'm at this part, I'm at this part. And then I'm just saying, that I, I ask him, when does it get good? Oh, yeah, don't worry, it's gonna get good. It, it, it gets good after, no, it never got good. Good! Ever. So Fanny, even Gecko agrees with me that season two is good. Hold on, pause. I'm not on season two yet because we'll get to season two. I'm wrapping up season one. Season one never got good. You you are just a shallow and pedantic little bitch, aren't you? Whoa, no, I am not. You're just copying Family Guy. I don't think you're shallow and pedantic. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> so after this, you're gonna re plus size elf, right? Mm, I mean, I'm, no, no. Or Sekure, uh, which one would you prefer? I mean, plus size elf because of, you know, Olga. Ah, nice. But Sekure, right though. Who cares about that one? That's just another nostalgia glasses manga that you like. Very, very, very. I'm gonna be, like, completely honest. Sekure is 1000% better than Rosario Vampire. <laughs> Anything is better than Rosario like, Vampire. No, 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 no. Like, I know I have nostalgic glasses for the series, but Sekure is definitely better. E- like even even my douchebag like stepbrother likes Sekure, and he's like one of those people that are like, Ugh, anime. What are you twelve? What are you a watching anime? Oh my gosh, he's terrible. Yeah. Okay. So, are we gonna get to season two now? Yes, season two. Like we've got an hour about. Season 1. God, two for this is going to be terrible. Rosario Vampire Season 2 Electric Boogaloo Escape to Africa. Oh my gosh. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry <laughs> series. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. And Knuckles. Okay. Alright. See, we can... <laughs> you're going to have to edit all that in. You're going to put up like a <laughs> like cover of one of the mangas from Season 2 and just add all that bullshit to Yeah, it. just see it. Stop naming people. You're going to keep making me put more people on this manga cover. <laughs> and then Goku shows up. Stop it. You're making my life worse with the editing that I'm going to have to do in this video. Okay, so season two, it starts off with Skuna going back to Yokai Academy. Yeah, it repeats. Through the path it that he met Mocha on. Mm, but instead of being cracked into by Mocha, he gets crashed into a new girl that joins his hero, but not really, because she doesn't like him like that. What was her name, Vanny? Is it Coco? Kokoa Shuzen, yes. That's it, Kokoa, yeah, that's it. Yes, yes. And she is the Sundere type. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and she's not bad, but again, like, uh, thankfully she's not swooning over Tsukune like these other stupid Yes, yes. yes. But you know what, though? She is Mocha's sister. So the whole uh, family plays a big part in season two. Well, it's definitely. It's like that. the Fast and the Furious. It's all about family. I hate you, and 
I'm disconnecting the call now. you have to add no, the I'm hanging up. Right I, I'm hanging up now. That's it. You have broken Don't the die. law. That's it. You Goodbye. Don't you die. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you just did that. You really shoehorned the Fast and the Furious in here. Yeah, I can't believe it. You better believe I shoehorned Dom Toretto into this because you hate him. I... Oh my goodness, I can't believe you. <laughs> anyway, so okay. yeah, season two basically, like, repeats season everything. Two. No, it doesn't. It yes, adds it new does. things. No, it repeats every single thing. It's almost like you didn't even have to read season one. No, oh, no, no, no. Vanny, this time it adds a boy to his harem. So that's different. That's later, but I'm talking about the beginning and all the setup for season two. It's just no, the no. same thing. It's <laughs> different that happens in season two beginning. So, Kokua is, like, the Sudre. She doesn't like Skude. She wants to, you know, fight Mocha and whatever. That's it. That's why she's there, is because Mocha's there. And she has the bat. You know the stupid bat that you always see on anything Rosario Vampire-related? Vanny, pull up the bat. Pull up the picture of Ko-chan, no, or Ko-chan. Ko-Buddy, or whatever they, they want to call him. He's cute. There's nothing wrong with him. Like, he's just a cute little bat guy. Yes, thing. In the manga, he's great because he doesn't Whee! speak at all. All he does is chill or yeah. yeah, something like that, yeah. At least in the manga, he's not like, Mr. Kokoa, that's how he talks. It's... And, oh at least in the manga, he doesn't become a f-ing villain for an episode where he sings a song called Jimatel or whatever the f*** it's called. I don't even remember because it was some garbage. I'll keep asking every day over and over till you say yes on New Year's Eve. Shatem, 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 shatem. I've said it it's five times already. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? I mean, you have I, I to admit. It. But wait, pause. You have to admit, season two of the anime did have some good villains. No, you will not shoehorn the stupid f-ing curry chick into this. What? What's the problem? No, she's not even canon. Apsara is totally canon. She's perfectly no, she's fine. Not. There's nothing wrong with her. No, I'm it's, not letting you do this. It's so. It's and. It's better than no manga. I'm not that. letting you. It is better. No. Because it's funny. No. Cooking is art. And art is explosion. That means spicy, of course. So then, how'd you like to try this artistic and explosively spicy curry? Here you go. <laughs> no, she gives everyone jaundice. Yes. They turn into Simpsons. Yes, and then Scooty goes, I crumble. That's exactly what happens. And then Misery has to learn how to cook curry to save everyone from the stupid curry. It's still better than half the no, it's that not. we get in season two. It's so much better because it's funny. It's actually, <laughs> it's supposed to be a comedy. And you even said it yourself. Well, gee, baby, maybe you should lighten up because it's a comedy. Boo, 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 boo. But here it is not doing anything as far as for a direction. You know, whatever. So, getting back to the manga, Coco shows up, she's just like, oh, I want to hang out with Mocha, whatever. <laughs> and then, your favorite chapter comes up, she wants to join the, the martial arts club. Oh, yes, but, yes! But they deny her, because she's too little. So, Yukari shows up and is like, hey, Coco, why don't you take these magic candies? I... I read on the back of the thing that it'll make you grow taller. Yes, the Suku Suku Drops. That's what it's called. Yes. Which and is a what, weird, it's a weird tangent that they go into. Yes. And then what happens is she joins the martial arts club after beating everyone's ass and humiliating everyone because, you know, she's taller and older or whatever. But the Suku Suku Drops have a side effect. She gets turned into a lolly. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes. Which is weird because she's already kind of like a lolly to begin with. And yes, but she doesn't want to be treated like a child, basically. And then they have a whole montage of her dressing up like Aureli and <laughs> like that for some reason. And then she's like, I'm not a child, damn it. Then she runs off and gets cornered by the, the martial arts club. And they're like, I'm going to f*** you up. And then Haiji, the captain. The oh, best. yeah, him. The best. Love him. Dinye Morioka's best friend. 
he's like, uh, see, that's what I'm saying. Like those, those two. Yes. And and then, we're awesome awesome and, and then he shows up and he's like i like you kokua especially like this because he's a lollicon he is the a picture lollicon. Van. yes he is a lollicon huh? there he is yes <laughs> i'm gonna start treating you like uh jamie from the joe rogan experience <laughs> pull that up man god really that's what i am this is my youtube channel not yours you have been real relegated to jamie status how dare you yeah the suku suku drops chapter was just a weird tangent yes everyone else takes them and becomes a lolly to help out kokura because it's funny it's very and weird. then Haiji's like and then Haiji's over there like getting a boner about it he's like oh I mean, yeah it's his weakness like, i got it right here it says eh what yeah i'm a lollicon so and then they're like yeah i'm gonna attack him and i will be tolerated yeah i, I mean yeah. Haiji's cool i really liked Haiji. i wish we saw more of him but you know it's a shitty harem comedy with Barely surprisingly, surprisingly, Kokoro and Haiji end up getting along the best after this. They do what well, they never really dive into it. They had like that one little part towards the end, but they oh, I really wish we saw more Kokoro and Haiji because that mm. would have been because that's a better dynamic than <laughs> Mocha and Sukune. You already know how that's gonna end. <laughs> You already know well, from the day that they bumped into each other and broke his. You know back, what, man? You know what, Vanny? You you can read fan fiction and end that like once. I will never. I will never read Rosario Vampire fanfic. No. After this video, that's it. We're done with Rosario Vampire for good. That's you'll it. never. never. Be, it's never ogre. I hate you. <laughs> Okay, so now we get on to a serious bit. One of the something serious happens at Yokai. A bunch of like bank robbers or whatever show up at Yokai and take the school hostage, basically. They knock out Mocha and Skune, and it turns out that Caster Troy is there as the ringleader, and what he does is he grabs Skune's face and faces off with him. I'd like to take his his face off. He said it! He said it! I hate you. Why would you? Why? <laughs> Danny, I've been holding that one in all review. Face no, we're gonna, off. We're gonna take his face off. Yes, Caster Troy. Oh my goodness, yes. yes. So the doppelganger Troy, shows Danny. up. The doppelganger what? shows up, which I liked. I did like this chapter. I really did, because yes. it's a doppelganger. He's a shapeshifter. Yeah. It's very relatable. He takes the he takes the shape of Skude, and all the girls there are like, Oh, Skude, what's up? And the shape shifter has to deal with his bullshit for a while. He's like, he has to go through this shit. Like, what the fuck? He gets, he gets a face full of Kuru's boobs, and she's, he's like, oh, these are the boobs I've always dreamed of as a kid. And then Caster Troy, like, punches Ruby in the stomach. I forgot that Ruby was there. Yeah, yeah she's part forgets. of the uh, Everyone forgets. Because, you know, unlike in the anime, Ruby doesn't show up randomly and just go, It's a little Tori! Oh my goodness. That's her only thing in the mo in the anime. <laughs> well, I figured the BDSM jokes would have been too much for the anime, so... <laughs> yeah, so he... He... <laughs> gut punches her, trying to, like, throw her off, but little does he know that she's a masochist, and she's like, You punched me at the stomach really hard, you must truly love me! Oh my goodness. And then, and then he's like, what the f*** is with these women? And then he ends up bleeding from the face for some reason, and Kurgur comes up and licks his face because she's a vampire to the blood, and she goes like, Yeah, you taste like cigarette, what the f***? Scooter doesn't smoke, what the f*** are you? Which is a pretty, like, genius way to, like, you know, catch a doppelganger, so... And then he starts smoking, and then Scooter comes out all f ghoulified because he released some of his power... And he, and then Caster Troy over there takes a takes a hold of Kurubu's face and is like, "You wouldn't hit a woman, would you?" And Scooty totally does. Yes, that is, yeah. But then Caster Troy has an ace up his sleeve. Yes, he does. Flash to up the big with, pair of, yeah. eight of aces. Yes, he flashes Kurubu with Kurubu's tits, and thus knocking out Scooty for a bit. And they're like, "Oh my god, thank God he's still human." Ish. No. And, and the funny part is they both do the little nosebleed thing, so... Yes, and Kurubu's like, what? You can't be showing my tits around! 
Also, in the American version, her tits are censored with a bra. Where the f*** did he get the fr- the f*** bra? I, this is, you know what? I don't know. It's, it's is he just wearing, like, the, yeah. like, with its underwear underneath his <laughs> Just in case. I guess he was just prepared, just in case, if he were to turn into a woman, that, um, he would have a pair of double D, you know, bra. The apparently, crew was, like, an F. He no, she's not no F. I'm gonna fact check you real quick. Hold on a second. Kuru Rosario Vampire. Hold on. Pause everything. <laughs> we, oh, we're getting Jesus. to the bottom. She's a G. Oh. <laughs> so I was kind of right. She's a G cup. I don't know if it's like a G in Japan, but like, you know, G is a G. Goodness gracious. G for great. As Tony the Tiger once said, they're great. Alright. Anyways, <laughs> alright, so we got the doppelganger out of the way. Yeah. No, 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 because then he turns into Mocha, they beat the sh** out of him, and then he gets arrested, and, you know, Caster Troy is then defeated. And once again, no one dies. Well, Skuna gets stabbed, so... He still isn't dead. I wish he was. And then, uh, what the f*** happens after that? Oh, they go to Miserae's, like, home for a bit, for some reason. Yeah, the, the, the ice resort. Yes. Where they shoot each other with snowballs. Yes, because uh, Miserae's mom wanted to be a spy, and she has a whole wall of weapons in the back, just filled with nothing but guns. But they're not real guns, they're snowball guns. No, they're they're converted. They shoot ice bullets for some reason, or it's snowballs. snowballs. They're snowballs. That's all they are. They're just... Vanny. Vanny. She has a wall of guns hidden from everybody. She truly hates the ATF. Uh, <laughs> cue the Lego Batman. I just died in your arms. <laughs> it must have been something you said. Oh my god. Anything so for a MILF with guns and hates the ATF. That's just an automatic yes oh, for you. Yeah. Hell yeah. But you skipped ahead. So they go to Miserae's homeland for a bit and Scrooge and Miserae are out there in the snow field at night alone. She takes oh, him yes. to this place with a bunch of flowers that can paralyze Scooter because she's gonna f-ing rape him. Basically, I wish he, d- I wish she did. <laughs> and then what? What ends up happening is like she gets kidnapped by like Yetis or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're hearing it right. And then like Mocha and Crew and the rest of. Of the group have to go and save Miserae while they're doing this. They're trying to figure out how to get into the the fucking, like leader of the Yuki Oda people's like fucking, like crystal castle. So what they do is like only women can go in there. Okay, so we'll just make Scooter dress up like a woman. So Scooter becomes a trap for a bit, but not really. And Scooter looks real butthurt about it. Yeah, I mean, he has to force a- wait, did we get to the other guy yet? Or are we Miyabi? No, we were just about to get to Miyabi. Okay, okay. Miyabi, yes. Miyabi, whatever. Whatever. So, Miyabi- I hate him, too. You used to like him. Uh, yeah, until the stupid shoehorn, ooh, I'm actually this guy, happens, and I'm like, okay, that's f- stupid. I'm actually Simon Belmont. No, shut up, no, it, it's worse I than that. It's worse. Daddy, I- it th- like just thinking about it, like there's. Anyways, not we're not there yet. And he shows up <gasps> and hits Scooter. He goes, "Dark metamorphosis." Shut up. That's not what happened. Don't you even. Soul steel. I understand <laughs> you're hinting. You're hinting at the big twist in the end, but stop it. We're not there yet. Anyway, so <laughs> Miyabi wants to like you know do things to Mizore. <laughs> No, 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 he doesn't even do anything like that, he, he's just Should like, have. hey, uh, I'm- It would've made everything better if he no. did. Fanny. His goal was, I want these people to be with me under my control and my organization, so I'm gonna marry you as the sign of goodwill, and, and he forcibly kisses Miserae. 
And touches Bob. Well, that's it. And then and Scoone and them show up, and Mizuru's like, I've been sullied, so I'm gonna jump out a window. And it's like, did he just kissed you and groped you? That's it. Which I understand could be like traumatic, but like you're <laughs> sullied, really? We should have went all the way. Should have just griffined her. Just griffined her in front no. of Skune. Yes. Vanny, no. Yes. Vanny, yes. no. Vanny, no. Just you did, did the Griffith. Just should have done the Griffith. And Sukune over yelling like guts. Vanny, you're gonna get cancelled, and we're gonna get cancelled, you need to cut all this out. No, no, I will stick to my guns, I know what I said. Uh, I, uh, first off, I'd like to say I don't endorse Vanny's <laughs> views at all. Oh, look at you trying to cover for yourself. Coward. I, yeah, because you literally just- Vanny, you said some pretty heinous <laughs> sh- just now. What? It's, it it would have <laughs> made for a better story, you mean it's- you mean to tell me it wouldn't have made for a better story if that didn't happen? So... Exactly. Uh, Vanny. Exactly. Vanny, no. Yes. Built character. Vanny. I, I, I don't feel comfortable talking about this anymore. Oh, whatever. It's an anime. It's not like it's a real person. Okay. So, she jumps out a window, Kuruma saves her and kisses her on the lips, and she's like, Ah, oh, what the f***? Why would you do that? Yeah, we had and to throw in a little Yuri kiss in there. Yeah, so then Kurb was like, It's because I can erase that kiss for your mo- from your mind. And it's like, alright, cool. And then Mizra is like, I just want to be next to you, Kuruma. I, re- I, I just really want to be close to you. They should have just ended up together. Like, the should have just been a Yuri couple at that point. Read fan fiction. I'm not reading fan fiction. <laughs> Everyone in the comments spam Vanny that they should read <laughs> Sorry, no, fan fiction. I am fiction. done with this series after this video, I promise you that. After that, Miyabi shows Miyabi, whatever the <laughs> f his name is, shows up and Scooby's like, You f I'm gonna kill you. And he's like, Alright, do it then. But then no balls, another no balls, can't do it. Yeah, basically, it's gonna rush that up, but then Boka's other sister, Kalua, shows up. Now, pause here. Love Kalua. Just saying. Kalua is awesome. Shame that she Kalua. didn't get too much, but she's awesome. Kalua shows up, and they're like, holy shit, Kalula, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm evil. And also, I'm gonna kill Skude and the rest of you for getting in a, the way of our plans. Yes. Which, by the way, the group here, the the, the group, the, what's the, what's their name? Go ahead, say their ridiculous name. Fairy tale? Is that stupid. what you're... Stupid. Yes, stupid. Just like, you know, antithesis and the monstrels. So, so they, wait, pause. I'm not done yet, because they gotta speak. We have to set up fairy tale, the evil terrorist organization yeah. that has nothing to do no. with season one. Danny, don't you know that Todd Habercorn needs to be in both Rosario Vampire and fairy tale at the same time? So combine them both. The fa- I, you know what? I hate you for that. Didn't you know that both that Skune is also Natsu? Yeah, he unlocks fire breathing powers. Yes, who else is that voice actor not? Like, he's in everything. You even said He's that. Jocko. He's <laughs> Galactic Patrol Man Jocko, the yes. base character in <laughs> Dragon Ball Super. Oh my god. Love Jocko. Why? Because he's badass, man. Oh my goodness. No, Kalua is badass. No, Kalua is the one that's the I can fix her. Well, there's another. <laughs> there is another, but we'll get into her. We will get into her. Dear <laughs> Yoda, I get up. <laughs> mm, there's another. Yes, there is. Mm. Nothing more can I teach you today. <laughs> We will get into the other girl because she is coming up and she is, she's the one. She you is the, the storm one. that is approaching. I am the storm that is approaching. Why? Why do you do this to me? You know I hate that meme. Because now you have to do the sword slash the screen. You know I hate that meme. And now I have to put it in here. I am the storm that is approaching from the You know, I never get past that song for I am the storm because I immediately turn the video off in anger. Like, that's what happens. 
Well, now you have to put a slash through the screen and put either Virgil or her face on it. I hate you. Anyways, what d- d- after Miyabi gets his ass kicked. Oh, Kalua actually beats the <laughs> out of everybody, but she does it after she takes off her earrings and starts crying, because apparently crying makes her stronger, so she beats everyone's ass. But she does the quintessential woman thing of, let me get my earrings off, but, but before getting into a real fight. Yes. It's just and hilarious. Then she the ass, and then it takes the combined bite of Skude and Mocha to beat her a little bit. And she's like, okay, I've had enough of this. Bye. Yeah, but that's it. The end. And then she Arc <laughs> over. Leaves. Arc is over. That's it. And then our next part is a whole chapter with only Ruby and Skune. Mm. And they they end up in this mirror dimension called Paradise, where all the feral monsters live. So Skune can train to control his ghoul powers. And what's what's Ruby doing during this whole thing? Ruby Ruby is there to be shocked by electric currents. So Skune can control his ghoul powers. She's absorbing all the excess power. You see what I mean? I, it's a and she's also tangent. there to explain. She's also there to explain the MacGuffin that he's using to control his powers. The MacGuffin that only shows up for a couple chapters and it's gone. But, 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 but would you like to would you, would you like to explain what this MacGuffin is? It's a whip, a certain whip, and it's called the Belmont, aka the Vampire Killer. Vampire killer. Do 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 they also include the f-ing official box art to Castlevania on the NES. There, when they explain what the vampire killer is, it's such a weird. Like, it's. I really feel like the mangaka, the artist, like just played Castlevania. It's like, oh, this will be a good little chapter to put in. What? <laughs> he did because you know what else? Rubu <laughs> has a Famicom in her room, but we'll so get to that later. St- oh God, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. So. Skude is over there, Belmont to get up. He's over there like, Hydra Storm! Thousand Planes! I hate you for that. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! We are not doing the whole bit. We are focused on Rosario Vampire. Focus. <laughs> no, you wanna. I'm not doing it. You know you wanna. <laughs> it was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. I was brought to here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls! Then your slave! Perhaps the same can be said for all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill gets a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets, but enough talk. How about you? All right, there we got it out of here. All right, enough. My time's over! Grant me! Oh! I hate you. I truly hate you. You love me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're awful. All right. So, anyways, Ruby, Ruby has an orgasm from here. Yes. And then Mocha and the rest of them show up. They're like, "What the f- are you doing here? Oh, I'm controlling my powers." And then uh, Ruby has to follow Scooty around, locked up to the chain behind him, and everybody's like, "What a f- gross pervert!" And Scooty's hanging his head in shame, like, "I don't want to be here." I don't want to be here. I'm carrying a whip and a girl on a chain. Yeah, and every time that he uses the whip and uses the power, it shocks her, and she's literally yeah, having an orgasm like, throughout every other page or every other no, panel. Vanny, he learns to control the current, so he's pushing it through the whip instead, so Ruby doesn't get shocked anymore, so she shuts up because he was sick of hearing it. Gosh, and then what happens at the end with the vampire killer? Oh, yeah, uh... Mocha takes it so she can transform it to the other Mocha without taking out the rosary. See? Stupid. It's, like, it's just a stupid tangent that we went off to for no reason. And then Mocha and Skune go on a date, and the headmaster's like, you can't use the vampire killer anymore. Give me that shit, you'll lose it. See what I mean? And then it's never seen again. <laughs> and That's then Kuru gets her own chapter. Oh, is this the one where... Yes, it's it's my favorite part. Shut up. Oh god. Oh, I'm trying so, to get to it. The orchid dream, right? Yeah, there it is. She's in the shower feeling herself up and yes. blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm tracking. So, Kurovo 
has been feeling down lately. And Scooter, you know, about to go talk to her about how she's feeling, gets charmed by Kurumu because uh, Koko was egging her on, like, ah, you're a you succubus, you can't even charm these losers. Look at you, and she's like, shut up, I can totally do it, look. Charms all these fools, and they're just fawning over her, and then... And Scooby's like, Kuru, what the f*** is going on? And she goes, shut up! And charms him, and it's like, oh... When she said that, so, she wouldn't charm him, but here we are. Yeah, <laughs> she did it by accident. So yeah, she yeah. takes she takes Scooty back to her uh, no. dorm room. <laughs> Until the charm wears off, which wasn't a thing before, but besides the point, it just yeah. didn't wear off by itself. At least you're being honest with yourself. Thank you for that, because, yeah. Scooter actively had to break it to break the charm himself to be like, oh, I'm, I'm, this isn't me. So he ends up in her dorm and Kurumu's like, oh, f what am I going to do? And Scooter wakes up like, Kurumu, what, what's going on? I've been noticing that you've been down lately. And she's like, oh, nothing's good. Either. And then he hugs her randomly. It's like, you know, I care about you, right? And it's like, oh, f he's still charmed. So, Kurumu gets to live out her fantasies for a bit. She gets to have Skude to herself, and she's living it up. She's like... <laughs> so, she basically wants to play house with Skune. Yes. Remember that, Vanny? Yes, yes. And then she realizes she does that the whole it's, it's, thing. Not, it's not the same. Like, it's not... We're no, getting, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not there yet. Oh my god, you're dragging it out. It's really not that deep. No, 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 no. We'll get to that because you know, even while charmed, he go. She tells him, she does the whole stupid anime thing. Do you want a bath, dinner, or me? And he goes, dinner. Even while charmed, he does not care. Yes, correct. And then after she lives out her fantasies or whatever, she goes, "Tell me you love me, Scooty." And he goes, "I love you." And it's like, no, that doesn't sound right. Do it again. I love you. No, it's not right. I love you. No, it's not right, damn it. And then he finally goes because he actually no. snapped out of his no. trance. Vanny, did you know about that? He snapped out of his trance to be like, I love you, Kermo, to tell her, like, honestly. Well, <laughs> it's, it's nothing, no, because all of that is thrown out the window later on. It, Sukuni, yes, I know. I know, because he only wants Moko, <laughs> but he will tell Kermo, so I love even, you. Is it really fair to say this is even a harem? Because the harem, all the girls have an equal shot at the one guy, and the one guy can't decide between them all. That's the point of a harem. This isn't a harem. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a fourth harem. It's, it's three groupies and one girl. <laughs> it's three then, groupies and one girl. He tells her, I love you, in his normal <laughs> states, and she starts crying into his chest, and she's like, ah, oh, <laughs> and I... I <laughs> white snot all over your chest let me take off your shirt and the rest of the girls come in with Kokoa all beaten up and they look at Kurumu like you f slut and she goes no but really I didn't mean to do this tell him Skune and he just goes I love you because he doesn't want to get his ass beaten it's what it is scumbag Everyone likes to hold him in such high regard. He's not. Scumbag. That's the reason why I like her so much that chapter, because I can fix her. You cannot fix her, because she's so <laughs> fixated on <laughs> Skune for no reason. I, I can fix her. Yuki, Gin is right there for her. Gin is Don't right there. Don't compare to need. Shut up, I do. He is right Don't there. Don't compare to my need. He is right there. Right for the taking. Okay, mm. alright. <laughs> so, our new harem joins in. Our new harem, like, <laughs> join or joins in. Yep, wait, get honorable mention before you bring him up. Honorable Best mention? Yes, Best girl soon shows up. She doesn't show up until. Yes, she after does. I, I have the manga right in front of me, really? right after the I orchid dream. What remember? I thought that was after Fang Fang no, shows up. That's what. No, that's what I'm, I got it right here, just so that way I make sure we're going on the right track. And it is best girl, the mute, the siren. Oh, yes, so, Sun shows up, and who gives the f about Sun? Soon is the best. She talks with, you know, the little cue cards. Yeah, it's your <laughs> meme, and she tells Scoot, I f*** you. Yes, because he's terrible. And then sometimes if she's feeling spicy, she'll turn into Watto and tell Quagajin, Only money. <laughs> Shut up! 
I really did exploit that meme. I, like, I still can. I just haven't done it, but yeah. And Anyways. then she tells Vegeta, and then she told Vegeta one time, "You'll never be as strong as Goku." Oh my God, it's true. It, it's true. He will not. But and yes. then she looked at White Yagami and goes, "The game," and he was like, "You just made you everybody know. watching lose. Everybody watching, Good. you just made them lose." Good. There's gonna be a lot of pissed off people at you. There's gonna be a lot of pissed off people at you for saying what you said about Misery. What? It would build character and it really drives Skune to, you know, be better than, you know, mediocre. Right. So I'm Sun just... shows up, he can't speak, and Gein shows up and like, oh, hey, Sun, it's been a while since I've seen you, and it turns out that Sun is actually Gein's love interest. Well, I would say past love interest. But he's still like, oh, Sun, I want you. I can say, oh, the one that got away, it makes sense. Just the one that got away. And then, uh, I, I actually forget what happens in this chapter. You could take that away, Vanny, since you like Sun so much. I mean, nothing much happens. She just shows that she's a siren, and she goes against another siren, because the other siren thinks that he can, you know, sing some death song. And then he's like, this is not the greatest song in the world. It basically turns into Tenacious D. Yes, it, yeah, they go into a sing-off, and she wins the sing-off. The scooter literally goes up the sun. There's just no way that we can win. Was a masterpiece. He rocks so hard because he's not a mortal man. No, but we're not doing the whole song. But there is also, in this chapter, Haiji and Gin also team up. Dark mayonnaise! If I had a tase button, I would press it right now. <laughs> what were you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Haiji and Gin team up in this one. And they do, no, they have Gin? very good chemistry. Gin. Yeah, Gin. It's Haiji. Gin. 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 His Gin. name is Gin Ye. Gin. Gin. G-I-N. Gin. Gin. Gin Ye Morioka. Gin. Werewolf guy and Haiji. They team up it's and they Gina. fight the antithesis fairy tale. Shut up. You're so annoying. Okay, so after Sun happens, we're introduced to Fang Fang. Yes. The gay boy of the series, but not really. I mean, he's willing. He is very willing. He's willing to please Scooter. I mean, he's a cute looking guy, right? He's also Chinese. So now we have Chinese representations. It's true. Name like Fang Fang and Ding Dang. Oh, no. Fang Fang is the white mage of the. No. Vanny, no. You have to bleep that. What? The Ching Chong? You have to bleep that. You can't put that in. His name is Fang Fang. I mean, come on. You can't get more Ching Chong y than that. Vanny, you can't put that in. Oh, what? I didn't do the accent. I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, at all. I didn't do that. Like, it's Fang Fang. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if South so, Park yeah. can do it, I can do it. Okay, so Fang Fang shows up. He's the white mage. He's the summoner, but he's not good at it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He summons a phoenix, and everybody's like, holy shit, a phoenix. We gotta deal with this shit. And then next after that, Ling Ling shows up. Oh, Ling Ling. Mm, I did like her. She was funny. She was cool. And what is Ling Ling, Vanny? She's she's a what? I think it's a Jianchi, a Chinese zombie. Yes. And she can take off her head to recite Shakespearean quotations. It's too bad that she wasn't in the anime. That's for sure. The anime actually stopped, what, at the ice resort right the snow resort no it stopped <laughs> it basically it stopped after lilith's mirror but for some reason mocha's dad shows up at the end and they're like give us a new rosary for mocha and he's like no f you oh i'm gonna fight you fine take it oh, the end yes and then <laughs> ling ling shows up she could take off her head to recite shakespearean quotations no animal nor man can scream like i can with yeah. the fury of their recitations she was cool and she looked very good way to not just get my <laughs> jack's lament reference i don't even know what the hell that is have you never seen Nightmare Before Christmas? I forget Nightmare Before Christmas because I didn't like Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, he takes off his head and he says all that in his song because he's sad and he doesn't want to do Halloween anymore. 
Uh, no, no, it's terrible. Very, very moving. It's the movie. We're on Rosario Vampire. So yes. we, we, we got to the Ling Ling. She doesn't really do much. She's yes, just... she, she brings in vamp, uh, more zombies to cheat in this like Olympics, basically. Yeah, they have an Olympics episode. Mind you, we're in season two. Nothing yes. of merit has happened so far. We're on volume then, seven or eight, and nothing has happened. And then uh, Kurubu and Misery's mob and Yukari's mob. Who gives a f- about Yukari's mob? Yeah, for they real. show up. I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's that. That she doesn't even talk. She's just like, why don't they ever invite me to hang out? <laughs> this is a stupid witch. I don't even understand why a witch is considered a yokai. So they show up to help out with the cheating problem. They get rid of like most of the zombies. The Kuruma's mom seduces them, and uh, Suter uh, snipes them with actual bullets. It's a weird tangent. Yeah. It's a weird sidetrack. It doesn't affect the story at all. No, the whole thing is that they wanted Scooter to join their triad like yeah. gang. Yeah. I guess, but we all know what happens in a triad at the end of this anyway, so. Yeah, so, and then after that, uh, Fang Fang and <laughs> Mew Curry switch bodies for some reason, and he's just, like, perving on her body. Yes, yes, that's, that's right, that did happen. I don't remember why, but, yeah. And then, <laughs> and Scooty's like, you <laughs> asshole, leave Mew Curry alone, she's my best friend, <laughs> and he just friend zones her like that. <laughs> Very weird. Anyway, so we're now on volume six. No, 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 no. Six. Manny, we need to we need to discuss the elephant in the room. After he does that, Yukari basically just ditches Skuna. She basically wants nothing to do with him after that. She's just like, yeah, he's my friend and all, but and like she basically like turns like, oh, fang fang, you want to hook up? Oh yeah, sure. Which they make a better couple, anyways. But like, this is why I was saying Yukari is nothing but just like a Pokedex in season two. Like she just explains stuff that nobody asked about. I mean, there's a lot of that in Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. I mean, Cordelia doesn't do <laughs> neither does the other chick that has Mikazuki's baby. Yeah, but, and you know my gripes on them already. I, I don't. I'm one hundred percent against both of them. Exactly shit either. What is what it? Yeah, Orga is a captain of their sh- their crew and like the luckiest <laughs> captain of them all. He just sits there and is like, okay, do this, do this, do this. Yeah, that's what a captain does. Not everyone's a fucking commissar. He should have been a commissar. He should have been there on the front lines with them, f***ing <laughs> coward. Well, he got shot before he could, but that's Iron-Blooded Orphans. We are talking about Rosario Vampire. Okay, so what happens next, Manny, after Fang Fang's introduced? So, after Fang Fang's introduced, that's chapter 6, we go into chapter 7, and they're trying to reverse the the seal, or fix the seal, something about the seal is broken. So, what happens is, is that Mocha decides, eh, I'll I'll let the other one out for a day. So they take the rosary off for a whole day, so that we should be with Skure or whatever for the day. Yes, And she. She uses her one day of freedom to make pumpkin pie. And she sucks at it. Yes, and she almost seppukus herself making pumpkin pie. Yes. Which I like Rosario Mocha better than regular Mocha. Because she actually has, like, you know, that that personality that clashes with Tsukune. And you need that. That's absolutely needed. (laughs) Not this freaking softy little thing that just runs off and tells So what you're saying is that the other version of Mocha should have been the one inside the seal, and then this Mocha, the silver-haired one, should have been the regular one? Silver-haired Mocha should have been the main one from the beginning. That's it. The other one shouldn't even be there. That shouldn't have even been put on paper. No, 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 we'll get to that, man. I understand, (laughs) I understand (laughs) the end, I understand the end, but I'm saying change the end. Because there's no reason for regular Mocha. She's f***ing stupid and useless. Red daddy. So she makes Scoot the sh- burnt pumpkin pie, and he eats it, and she's like, are you f***ing crazy? Spit that out. And he's like, no, I like it. It's bitter, but it's sweet, and I love it. And I love you, Mocha. And then he, like, f***ing, like, tongue makes out with her. No, no, that doesn't happen. And she... Yeah, so after that, she decides to put the rosary back on, and it's like, why isn't it working? Because she doesn't change back. Why isn't it working? What did you do? I didn't do anything. What did you do, Scooter? I didn't do shit. 
So they go and they see, I think it's the exorcist that they go and see. <laughs> and he explains like, oh yeah, no. Um, you'd have to go find the maker of the <laughs> rosary to go reverse this shit. Yes, 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 yes. And We're so, getting to him. We're getting to him. We're getting to so him. Fang Fang. So Fang Fang goes, oh, I actually know the guy that made this. How convenient. Very convenient. So they take a plane to China. <laughs> D- Danny, you can't do that. What did I do? Danny, it, <coughs> you should have at least done Chun Li's theme instead of the f- <laughs> you know racist like. <laughs> it's not racist. It's just a little tune. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so. They get on a plane, and they find this weird rabbit thing on the plane. And it turns out that it's actually the stand Notorious B.I.G. Oh god, are we really going into the the stupid rabbit? I yes. I forgot about, oh god, make it quick. Because we're already at a, an hour and fifty. Daddy, it's not even a rabbit, it's a gremlin. A gremlin, that's what it was. Yeah, and Notorious <laughs> B.I.G. here is to uh, make sure that the plane crashes for some reason, because Fairy Tail's like, nah, f***ing f- sink that bitch in the ocean. Yeah, Fairy Tail, they're strange. And then the rabbit, the f- <laughs> gremlin's like, oh, I like Kuruma's tits, I'm gonna be up in her here for a bit. And then they get sick of it, so they try and kill it. And it turns out if you cut it in half, it multiplies. Instead of, you know, getting wet, it doesn't multiply. This is weird. So, yeah, after that, after the thing multiplies so much that the plate starts crashing, Mocha's like, all right, I'm going to tear off all my clothes and stand near a door or whatever, so that way they all fly out the door, and the plan works, and the gremlin is never seen again. And then, they get, and then they get to China. They do. Yes, and they go visit Fang Fang's home, where they all get kidnapped by Dead by Daylight killers. <laughs> That's right, they do. Yes, and uh, Kurubu, Fang Fang, and Scooter are the only ones left until Kurubu gets kidnapped and Scooter is like, you f- Fang Fang, you set us up. I'm going to kill you. And it's like, no, I didn't set you up, but I can help you. And then they go into a room filled with guns and bombs because Fang Fang's parents are triad bosses. So Scooter and Fang Fang go, they go <laughs> gear up. And uh, pull up the famous image of them with the guns. You know, that super edgy image. Oh, goodness, yes, that's right, that's right. But wait, 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 we missed one thing before we continue. What? The gremlin, when he failed, he reported to none other than... Then? Light Yagami in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, randomly, he's in a wheelchair, and, you know, he's Light Yagami about it, and his little boy toy Kiria is there. Yeah, the Chimera. Yep. Alright, anyways. Alright, continue. That was yeah, the only and then thing we missed. Scudet, and then Scudet shows up in front of the f- crime boss that took her, all his girls, and he's like, I'm gonna f- kill everybody and myself if you don't give them back. And it's like, ah, so you're gonna sacrifice and take all of us with you if you don't get what you want, huh? And he's like, yeah. I like that about you, Scudet. Welcome to our family. Surprise, this was an initiation. Yeah, so fucking surprise. Then, and then that's it. Yeah, and then it, Mocha and the rest of them are just by a pool, like in bathing suits, like, oh, like, oh hey, what's up? Mm, goodness gracious. But Meanwhile, okay. Scudet was probably gonna fucking <laughs> a la Akbar himself. Probably would have, and, you know, would have been better, because then he would have been gone. And then he yells at Fang Fang, like, what the f***? Why'd you tell me anything? I didn't know, (laughs) man. (laughs) And so, after all that (laughs) happens, they finally meet... The best. Fang Fang's grandfather. The best. The best. The one who made the rosary, supposedly. The one... Toho. Oh, yes. Toho Fuhai. Yes, and he... He's basically Master Roshi, right? But instead of going after 3D women, he likes anime. I love him. He's so awesome. Yes, and then he's like, the only way that I can fix this is through special training, getting the special training outfit, Mocha. And he makes her dress up as what, Vanny? Oh, goodness. What was her name? Urusei... What was it? I don't even remember, but she's the... Yatsura. Urusei Yatsura. Yeah. Yes. Loom. That's her name, Loom. 
Yes, and then <laughs> Mork is like, what the f*** is this? Like, are you sure this isn't trading? And Scooter gets a nosebleed. I mean, who would So, thanks, 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 Mom's like, no, he's just an old pervert. Don't listen to him. But he's the best. <laughs> so, what ends up happening is they go into Mocha's memory for some reason. I don't know why. I don't remember. They were trying to fix the seal or something. Something like that. And Kurumu actually gets to use her succubus powers. Yes, yes. Of entering people's dreams because you know that's what they do. So they get to go into Mocha's memories and see all the all her childhood. You know, Mocha, Kokoa, Kid Kulua, and of course, <laughs> the best girl, the best girl in the whole thing, Akashia Blood River. No, 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 Aqua. Aqua is the best one. <laughs> Yes, you like Aqua. Oh goodness! I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm personally not a fan. Like, I'm not really into the whole Barbie Girl song, but you know, you do you. D screw you! Screw you! You know <laughs> who I'm talking about? Yes, Aqua. I know who you're talking about. Aqua Shu Shuzen? Shuzen? I think the last name Shuzen, is. Shuzen, yes. Yes, yes. She is the only person in this whole f manga that does shit. Like yes, she, she f people up. Yes, she is the storm that is approaching. I am the Stop that! No, I'm not gonna put it in again. <laughs> no, you have to do it when she does her actual attack, though. Again. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> anyway, so she she she's awesome because she has that Jigen Toe style thing that cuts the air or whatever. It's a magical sword. It's basically Yamato from Devil May Cry, because, you know, she is the storm that is approaching. I am Stop it. I'm not putting it in again. Stop it. It's not happening. Twice. Goodness gracious, you're out of control. You're out of control. All right. So, yes, as... As um, Mocha is like in a coma, like a magically induced coma, and they're over there dream diving into her, Aqua shows up in real life. Yes, and they she takes Mocha after, you know, beating the shit out of everybody because she's so strong. She's super strong. While Skude and Kurumu are in, her, in Mocha's dreams or memories or whatever the f***. Yes, and they're learning all and about Skude's Mocha's like, past and all that stuff. And, and Skude's looking at uh, little Mocha and he's like, oh my god, she's so adorable. Yeah, he's a lollycom too. He just wants lolly Mocha. Yeah, saying, yeah so, and then... And then, <coughs> after they do all this sh they see Mocha's mom, Miss Akashia Blood River. Yeah. And take a guess on who she looks like. Maybe just like Mocha? Yes. Oh a lot goodness. like Mocha. It's like a little twist or something. I'm like, Shyamalan uh -huh. wrote this. <laughs> so, and then they see uh, what happened with in the past of why Mocha has the rosary or whatever. It doesn't really explain why she has the rosary, but it's kind of the reason why. Aqua takes uh, Mocha into the basement, and it's oh, like, God, take, a look it at this take a look at this thing! What the no. fuck is that? It's Alucard. It's Dracula. Oh my God. It's your ancestor. It's and it's like a giant kaiju xenomorph thing. Yes, and it's and Ak was like, I wanna wake it up, don't wake it up, I'm gonna wake it up. And then Mocha's mom was like, Don't wake it up. Mind you, this wasn't mentioned at all during season one. At all. This is all an afterthought plot. And then for some reason Miss Akashia Blur Blood River ends up dying. I think it's either because <laughs> Aqua like attacks her or something. Yeah, or maybe, um, like yeah. or maybe Dracula in the basement's like Dark Surfaces. Oh God! Soul Steel. All right, enough with the Castlevania references. <laughs> Hydra Steel. <laughs> you can you can't stop the Castlevania references, man. Really. Don't you dare! Don't you even. <laughs> Vanny, you gotta you gotta put in vampire killer and get <laughs> bloody tears every time. You know Konami won't like that. Just like a little snippet. Just just like the beginning part, just like da, da, da. Oh my goodness gracious. Or just put up like gameplay but on <coughs> mute. Oh goodness. I would have to play the Castlevania for two hours? No, it's not happening. No, like like the NES version. 
I still have to play it for two hours. Like, we're already two no, hours you, into this. No, you wouldn't. You would just have to put a little snippet in there and be there. Edit. There it is. It, it might as well be my background play if that's the case. <laughs> No, the background thing is gonna be filled with like images of like. <laughs> no, it's just gonna be the anime, Vanny. <laughs> You're oh, just gonna yeah, upload. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'm sure YouTube won't copyright that. Just on mute, so that way people won't notice. <laughs> yeah, right. They still get you even if it's muted. I hope you know that. Uh, I mean, you could play Castlevania for two hours. That'd be sick. No, absolutely not. All right, so they're in a coma. Aqua came in, kidnaps Mocha. And then Kurumu and Skune wake up, and he starts freaking out. Like, where's Mocha? Where is she? Where is she? And then Yutri's like, they're taking Mocha to Isengard. Hey, stop! I hate you. Oh my gosh. You just will not stop, will you? <laughs> they're taking Mocha to Isengard! To Isengard! Come on! Come on! I hate you. I've been holding that one in all f review. I I I knew it was coming up, and I've been waiting like two hours. <laughs> I have no words. I have no words. You have derailed this completely. The train is done. <laughs> Anyways, Aqua and Ling Ling get in a fight, and Aqua seemingly kills her, but then again, you can't kill a zombie because the zombie's already dead. House of the Dead and Resident Evil say otherwise. Well, tell that to Ling Ling because she survived a giant explosion. Yeah. But she was saved by. By. Toho and Toho's like super hot and oh, yeah, sexy. Toho, yeah. He's no longer oh, yeah. an old Master Roshi. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. Yes, he turns out that he's a super hot, pointy-eared, knife-eared guy, and yeah, he's you really good stupid golfy gate. Mm, I'm just looking at him right now. This is really good looking. Okay, he, like, boy. The, he it took all the way. Where? Where is this? Volume nine for it to finally start getting good. So count ten. Plus nine, 19 volumes of this, where nothing happens, and then finally we start getting into the real plot. Okay, so, Scoot Egg goes up to Toho and he's like, I need to f***ing save Mocha, and he's like, alright, I'll help you. I'll unlock your ghoul power slowly so you turn into a vampire instead of a zombie. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. So, Toho and them go into, like, a... A f***ing abandoned city for some reason made out of magic. And Toho starts <laughs> releasing Skude's energy slowly. But then he f***s <laughs> up. Thus creating the super famous image of Ghoul Skude. Where he's all black and silver haired and red. And he doesn't speak, he just screams at people. And then he f***ing like, nearly kills Toho. He turns Rosario mode. Shut up. That's what happens. Yes. So he went, then, he went Rosario. So then, Kurumu shows up, and Skune's looking at her like, "I'm gonna f eat you," and she's like, "Nah, no, you're not." She kisses his lips and f makes him turn back to normal, and then Toho can finish his, you know, little spell to turn Skune into a vampire, but it's gonna take some time. <laughs> and then, yes. what happens, Vanny? What happens with uh? With Mocha. Mocha gets kidnapped by Aqua, and Aqua wants to have sex with her. <laughs> yes, they get, like, fa uh, family time with Mocha and Aqua. Yeah, and it do. turns out that... It turns out that Jojo exists in Rosario Vampire. Oh my god, why do you do this? Because then she pulls out the stone mask, and she's like, I reject my humanity, Mocha! I mean, she just held it up to her face. I mean, that was about... It was just a silly little reference. It's not like this in actual... But then she puts world. the red stone of... I, she puts the red stone of Aja inside it and becomes the ultimate life form. That would have been better. It really would have been. And then, and then the theme song starts. Ay, 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 ay. All right. <laughs> Yuki, this is two hours yeah. in, and we still have yes, so much Yes, I know, we're almost to. done. We're almost done. So, after Skude gets his little power up, they go and uh, assault Fairy Tail, basically. Mm. Um, everybody gets their little moment to shine. Mo 
uh, Skune gets his fight, his rematch against Kuyo, who is now wearing, like, a samurai f***ing, like, garb, you know, the f***ing shit that they wear underneath the armor. Oh, but you said Kuyo's his rival. You mean to tell me he only showed up twice? Yeah, he's his rival. He fucking hates Skude, and Skude oh, no. hates him. What a rival to only show up twice. Imagine if Vegeta showed up in the beginning and the end. I mean, he basically does. He doesn't do shit. Oh, he, yes, he does. I don't even like I mean, Vegeta. He gets, I'm not him props. he gets his ass handed to him. I mean, that's it. it. It's a demonstration to show how strong the villain is. You're gonna get all the Vegeta stands on you. <laughs> okay, and it's not like they can stand up against me, the Goku no. fan. God. Oh, what are they gonna do? Get their asses kicked and then have me do everything? Oh my goodness. They're gonna come in the comments, that's it. What are they gonna do? Have their asses kicked and <laughs> ruin every fight that <laughs> Gohan needs to win? Oh, goodness. Anyways. Oh, wait, we forgot. We forgot something. What? Unless you're getting to it. Unless you're getting to it. But there's one more person in the um, Mocha family that we have to talk about. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mocha's stepmom. What was her name? <laughs> Fuck. Something Susan. Exactly. Because you know why? She doesn't show up until the end. Would have been nice. <laughs> would have been nice. Instead of... Instead of going into a lolly tangent, we would have been you know, introduced to this character and build up on it. But nope, just shows up in the end, and then we're just supposed to take it. Vanny, she's the final boss. Gyokuro. Gyokuro. Gyokuro Shuzen. That's that's the name. The yes. Gengu she's a it's Gengu the leader of her tale. A Gyaru Ganguro vampire woman. There you go. Yes. So, Skune fights Kuyo, beats his ass, moves on. And then, again, Fang Fang has this little fight against his rival from the other triad gang that joined Furry Tail and which, wins that fight. Which, by the way, another one that could have been nice to then build up upon instead of just showing up at the end. It doesn't matter who gives a <laughs> It does matter, because if you're going to have a big fight in the end, why not? Jin Ye and uh, What's-His-Face, and I think Kokoa show up to fight some, like, goon or whatever. Yes. Some yes. jobber. Yes. Mizore and Kurumu fight some jobber, I don't remember. Bruh. Yeah, what happens to Mizore? What? What happens to Mizore? Oh, she gets knocked out because she was fighting uh, the stepmom. It's because she sucks. Yeah, she sucks. Because she was fighting the stepmom, and she, she gets f***ed up. That's what happens and so does when you hide in the trash, that's all she does. And then, uh, Kurumu, not Kurumu, <laughs> Ruby, there we go. Ruby shows up, and it's like, I'm gonna fight this guy, little does he know that I'm a f and like, masochist, that I enjoy pain. Yeah, that oh, was no, a weird one. Pain. That was a weird one. Oh, no, too much pain. Better put on f***ing my f***ing warrior zodiac armor. Yeah, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, that happened. That's, that was what I'm saying. Like, the end was just thrown together, because I'm pretty sure Shonen Jump or whoever was carrying this was like, we're sick of your shit, Christopher Hart. You need to come up with something and finish what this. What's uh, kind of... I know what I said. Yes, and then Skude and them finally get up to the top, and Skude <laughs> meets up with Mayabi. And my obby's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna get in your way. You f do whatever you want. It's like, all right, okay. Mm, yeah, little okay. shit in there. Skune and Mocha meet up again after being rescued, and they have to fight Aqua. <laughs> Kokua has to fight Kalua, and the rest of them have to fight the stepmom for some reason. They have no one else to fight, so who else are they gonna fight? Yes. So, I don't remember what happens with the stepmom. I'm gonna be blunt about that. I don't remember how they beat her. Um, I think my lobby shows up and f***ing kills her in front of everybody. No, it was something weird. Hold on, hold on. Keep talking, because it's something stupid. It's, it, I remember... But I, do know, I do know that f***ing Kokua runs through Kalua with a f***ing katana. Yes. Yes, but guess what? She still doesn't really die because no one dies in this shit. They thought they she died, but you know Kuyo loves her, so he saves her. Yeah, no, no, that's how it always is. Oh, that's right. Okay, so Moka and Gyokure, or Gyokuro are over there fighting each other, and then Gyokuro like turns like fuses with Alucard or something. You know the big Xeno Xenomorph 
kaiju. And, yeah. And they start, like, fighting or doing it. And then as they're doing that, the, their little space or flying castles falling down to the ground. Yeah, their Final Fantasy airship. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. The giant airship thing. So she fuses with Alucard, and then over there fighting, the Toho shows up. And... Oh, yeah, Toho with them. And, and, and it turns... That's right. It was a... It was like... It was a loophole. That's what it was. Like, because she's at the rosary. It's like, oh, I got the rosary. I command Alucard. And so she takes the rosary off. Boop. And then she gets, like, eaten by Alucard or whatever. Well, yeah, like, he absorbs her. Yeah. So the only death. So two and people have died so far. Two. And then Mayabi shows up. And he's like, oh, hey, Toho, what's up? And it's like, what the f*** are you doing alive? Yes. And then it turns out that Miyabi is... Dracula. What is a bad? Stupid. So stupid. And then I... he goes like, "Yeah, guess what? I'm Alucard, but really, I'm Dracula. Soul Steel, Dark Metamorphosis." I literally just like when I got to this part, I closed the phone. I was like, "For the weekend, I am not reading this shit because wow." But then the Headmaster shows up, and he oh, yeah, shows up. Like, you might as well, because it's like everyone else has to show up in this climactic <laughs> finale that's completely <laughs> rushed. But very, 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 very. He shows up with the Japanese self defense self defense force, yes, and they show up like they're gonna fight Godzilla because, because they did this like every you- fucking Tuesday. Exactly. What do you do when there's a giant kaiju? Oh, they bring out the self-defense force. Yes, but now you have to include the stupid music. <laughs> it's like the, it, the, I'm surprised you didn't come out with the Mazer cannons or whatever, like. <laughs> yes, and it turns out that the, the headmaster is actually an Oni covered in locks because he's so powerful. Oh wait, that's right, I forgot. Miyabi before he reveals himself. Remember, he was that weird mask-looking thing that just showed up out of nowhere for like two chapters. It was like, oh wow, who's oh I'm the leader of what you would call it a fairy tale. And no, but then the like, headmaster shows up and like they get into a fight and it's like ah uh, all right. Which the headmaster, not- by the way, is super oh. hot. He, he's super hot. We forgot about that. Yeah. And then and my obby's like, I'm gonna well, Dracula, I should say, is like, you're not worth my time, I'm gonna go fuse with my real body. Which is and the I'm giant- gonna destroy everything, yes. And he's up he's up in there like a <laughs> Castlevania boss. Yeah, pretty much. Vanny, you don't know anything about Resident Evil 8, but it's pretty much like how Lady Dimitrescu is oh in her goodness. boss fight where like her main body is like the dragon, but she still has like the human part as her weak point. Like, I really am surprised that for the final fight, Sukuna didn't turn into Ultraman to fight the kaiju. Like, it's so f-ing stupid. It, yeah, and then, like, so the rosary's gone, so, you know, that mocha's gone. Correct. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yes, yes. Real or fake mocha no longer exists, and now Rosario Mocha is the one true mocha. Yes, and then Scooty's like, I need to save Mocha. She's gonna die if I don't. And then Aqua's like, how are you gonna do that? You're not a vampire. So Scoote rips off his lock and becomes a vampire. Oh god, it's so cringe. And then he injects her him her with his blood. Yep. 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 And then full circle. Fucking, I mean, full circle. Yes. And then she's like, Oh, you saved me. Why? And he's like, mm, monkey. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. My goodness. <laughs> And then they get a massive power up, basically, where they get like armor plating and wings, and <laughs> and Scooty becomes like a full fledged vampire. And they go and fight <laughs> Dracula for a bit, and they start punching and kicking him, causing explosions all over his body. Yep, pretty much. Well, perfectly circular explosions that happen. That, it turns out that <laughs> Dracula is also Destroya because he start. Because he left eggs everywhere that hatch into like little Dracula monster things. Yeah. So everybody needs to fight these things, humans and monsters. That's what I'm saying. Like, you really aren't going to tell me that this was like the most perfectly well thought out. Mm-hmm. Ending. Assemble! Pretty much. Like, the Avengers Assemble part was the. 
the priest and uh, Toho joining up together. <laughs> and then everybody starts fighting monsters, and then you see Sura in the like the snow village shooting them down with like an anti aircraft gun for some reason. She just has one of those with the snow. So after all this is going on, Dracula was like, ah, "You can't beat me. You're too weak." But then the rosary starts glowing. The broken rosary. Yes. Do you, do you want to take it away, or should I explain? Ah, uh, well, I mean, hold on, I gotta get to that point, because it's, I, I just got to the stupid Tsukune in his vampire tokusatsu armor, and Mocha, it's a fucking stupid god, it's, 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 it's giving me PTSD as I swipe through this. That's right there, so. got to the little ones, and then Owen, and then, oh, there's Miyabi, and then there's everybody coming in, they're teaming up, oh, look at that, we're all doing, of course not, I chose my path, this is my path, blah, 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 come on, Wi-Fi. I'm giving you a chance to get all your rage out right now, because I know how much you hate this part. Uh, it's, it's, if it would just hurry up. I don't understand why. I guess it, I deleted it, so it has to, like, reload everything. There it is. So, Skrinna gets stabbed, and then there's the rosary. It comes off. It put it on Miyabi's chest, and then he explodes. And then, sure enough, Mocha's mom is inside. Miss Akashia Blood River shows up. That's right. She's inside the whole time. The She's whole basically time she was the in there. of the series. Oh my god. And then let's end it already, Alucard. And it was, turns out that she was the little girl with Alucard the whole time. Blah, blah, blah. Alucard. <laughs> Dracula raised her. And then so that's it. And that, and that's it. That's how it ends. They they go off no. into the, no, 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 the, the, no, no, the no, explosion. No, 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 blows herself up getting killing him and her at the same time yeah, and, and then that's like, it. but i know, didn't even get a chance to say it Woo! goodness gracious so in reality skune didn't even love mocha he loved her mom yeah that's true you're not wrong there that yeah yeah but again milf and then for some reason at the end of the series the last bit mocha and both mochas fused together so now silver haired Mocha has like bits and tendencies of both and she has like light pink hair instead of hot pink hair. Yeah, it's very weird. The whole thing, I guess just And then it's... everyone else is like, Hey Kurubo, can we go into Skune's dreams with you? And Kurubo's like, I never thought of that. Shit, you're right, we could and Marka stops them from doing it. It's like, hey, I know what you are doing, but I guess you can do it. But just so you know, I'm the real girlfriend. You all f can have dreams, Scooty. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, and th th it's just so... Mm. Okay, hold on. Pause. Before we get to the stupid ending with the harem, not harem. They pull a Star Wars, and by Star Wars, I mean the uh, sequels. Sequel trilogy with that, you know, that little orange girl lady with the goggles? Maz Kanata or whatever. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Pause, I'm getting there, don't worry. It says on here, towards the end, uh, Kidia took the, takes over as the leader of Fairy Tale and rebuilt it to become one of Sukuna's formidable enemies. When the <laughs> did that happen? Oh wait, it tells you right here. But let's save that story for another time. Guess what? That story never <laughs> happened. Let's save it for another time. Just like how Maz Khan or whatever said, Hey, where'd you get that lightsaber? Oh, it's a good question for another time. Thanks so much, Christopher Hart. Genius. It's Ikeda. But we're also forgetting the last, last chapter. No, we're not even going to talk about that because it's pointless. No, 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 no. no. Vanny, it, it's, it's the pointless. funny chapter. Are you talking about Most when the dad? dad shows up? Yes, yes. And he looks like Johnny Depp. Shut up. He looks like Johnny Depp. Are you going to tell me I'm wrong? I mean, the... the... Yes, he kind of, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. He looks like Johnny Depp, he shows up, he's like, oh, so you're dating my daughter, huh? Well, show me what kind of guy you are. So, the rest of the harem's like, oh, this is our chance to make freaking <laughs> Skune and Mocha break up. So, we're gonna do everything we can. It's such a stupid, like, it's so a So, Kuba literally shows thing. up, like, dressed up in lingerie, and, like, jumps him. <laughs> and he's like, oh, did you forget about our child? And Fang Fang even is like, ah, oh, there's my gay lover. But it's just so stupid because he's, first off, he's like, you know, big, big uh, vampire family head person. Getting bossed around by fairy tale to kill Tsukune. Only to yes. not do it. It was just yeah. a red herring. And, and, and yeah. they're supposed to be like, oh, wow, that's so cool. 
No, it's stupid. I'm gonna complete your training. Exactly. Let's go, Uber. God, like, just thinking about it just annoys me, because all the good stuff happened after Volume 9. But then, Vanny, we also have to go on to the next sequel of the manga. There is no Rosario Vampire other- GT. I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> You're insane. Step into no. the grind zone, grind zone, grind zone, step into the grind zone, grind zone, grind zone, grind zone, grind You thought I wasn't gonna hang up. I told you I was gonna hang up. So you were saying before I interrupted you. What I'm saying is that all the good shit happened from volume nine up until kind of the end because the end just f- <laughs> stupid. The end was so f- <laughs> stupid because everyone just goes along with the status quo. Like, oh yeah, we're a harem, but we're not a harem. Even though he's with Boca, we're just gonna follow him along. Like, never mind that Kurumu is over there crying because she realizes, oh, you didn't say you love me, boo, 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 boo. But Gin is right there, right there for the taking. Well, let's also not forget that Misery can't have kids if she turns 25. That's a trend. That's a. That's unfortunate for her now, isn't it? Maybe it would have been good if Miyabi did something to her so that we would have had a kid. Oh, Jesus sorry. Christ, Danny. I'm just. I'm just saying that would have no, been a perfect little no, thing for I season not three. Let you get away with that. That would have been that would have been a really good plot point in season three. No, I'm not letting you get away with that. How fucking dare you? That would have been a really good plot point. It would have been an interesting plot point in a different fucking series. The series was made for fucking middle schoolers. Was it though? Was it though? Pretty so much. Middle sc- so middle so schoolers easy. are over there. Looking at Ru- exactly Ruby over there and Kurubu over here flashing and putting There's no boobs all over. There. What are you talking about? The doppelganger shows boob. In the American version, it's just the a bra. The American version is censored to hell, and you know it. Yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> I'm not letting you get away with that well, one, I'm though. Just, I'm just saying, saying it would have been a very good plot point for season three. You- Manga then and do whatever the f- you want. But trust me, if I could draw, if I could draw, the world wouldn't be ready. Well, learn. No, too much work, and I don't have time for it. Mm, but... It sounds like bitch to me. <laughs> so even I learned how to draw. I may have lost the skill, but I learned how to. Yes, your 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 stain painting style of drawing is very... No, I learned how to draw. That's how I ended up with this style now, because I yeah, lost from, the ability. I used to be able to draw Christopher Hart in, From Christopher Hart in his How to Draw Manga books, yes. I oh, know. from my yes. art teacher in high school. She was a very nice lady. I miss her. Oh, odd. Anyways, so, final thoughts on <laughs> Rosario Vampire. I loved it. I hated it. I hated it. Like, <laughs> The like I said, from nine to uh, to towards the end, good. The fight scenes repetitive. The side tangents, the lack of direction going every which way. Season one doesn't even connect the season two outside of the characters. What would you change about this series? Get rid of Sukune, or at the, least oh, okay. at, at least make him like you know pick. Like, n- not just go stick with just Mocha and that's it. If it's a harem, if you're trying to sell a harem, he has to go for all of them or at least doesn't know which one to go after. And then at the end, picks the girl. And the other ones go along their merry way. They lost. Which of the main harem would you pick? The main harem, none of them. None of them. Because none of the Mocha- side characters well, well, who was the on, wait, 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 let me go back. Rosario Mocha, I guess. If I have to pick for the main so- Inner Mocha. If I have to pick from the main cast, that one. Because regular Mocha doesn't even exist. Or fake Mocha, or whatever you want to call it. Coco is a lolly. Yukari is a lolly. Uh, Mizore is a trash wife. And then Kurumu. I'm is just a getting mess. real fucking, like, defensive about this shit. How fucking dare you? I'm speaking facts. I'm just no, speaking facts. No, you're not. I mean, she is a trash wife. She hangs out in the garbage and pops up. She doesn't hang out in the garbage. She does. She just pops right up. Has it multiple times. I'll find the screenshots and I'll put What about Kurumu? What, what, do, what, what is it about Kurumu that you're like, meh? So I, would, I was all for Kurumu. I really was. All the way up until that part where 
she realizes that Skune isn't ever going to be, like, hers. And at that point, you should be like, well, I guess that's it. But then she goes off saying, oh, I'm going to die because the one that I love, I can never have, blah, blah, blah. When Gin mm. is right there with her. Gin is right there. Doesn't like Gin. But he's right there. And if but they would just explore just like that Jean. relationship. Because, but what I'm saying, though, is that he always did, like, the little pervert stuff, right? Oh, and yeah. it was a lot. a lot of it was to her. That could have been built upon as a relationship. And don't go telling me to read a fanfic. I'm not reading a fanfic. Very, you need to read the fanfictions. They're actually better if they're well written. So you're telling me the no. fanfictions are better than the manga? In your case, yes. I would 100% support you reading fanfictions. Because this is what you want. You want... You want people ditching Skude and beating with other people. You you basically want terrible. Vanny, you're basically wanting Y slash N to show up and sweep Kurumu off her feet. No, absolutely not. I am not going to put myself in there. I'm not doing a self insert. That's weird. That's well, like you would do. Have to be you. you can fucking no. make it about whoever. It's just you basically want fucking no. Bionic the Hedgehog to show up and sweep Kurumu off her feet. That's basically what you want. No, at anyone. Because it's just so stupid. Because then she's just forever going to be palling around the harem. Like, they're going to be 50 years old and she's still trying to get with Sukune. While Sukune probably has, like, four kids with Mocha. No, he's not. You're going you're gonna to watch from the closet while someone else has kids with Mocha. No, that's what Mizore would do because she's the stalker. Only from a trash can. She's gonna be dressed like Batman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and anyways, I, I, if I were to pick any of the side characters, because the side characters outshine most of the main ones, Aqua. 100%. Aqua. I could fix her. If you could replace Skude with any male character, who would it be? It doesn't even have to be from the same manga, just who would it be and why? Gosh, I never thought of that. Hmm. I have a feeling that you're going to pick the guy from Golden Boy. That would have been a lot better, because, you know, you need someone that's going to act on the harem, not just... Dad or Issei Hideo from fucking DXD. High school DXD, yeah. I mean, that's still better, because, again, if you're going to have a harem, everyone has to be a part of it, not just one and everyone's a groupie. Literally, like, I mean, Boka and Sukune are about to kiss it every time what happens. Shows up. I mean, if you Mizori really want, you basically are described. <laughs> you basically want Rosario Vampire to either be like, "Oh, I'm a pervert. I'm gonna try to get with all these girls," or you want it to be my bride as a mermaid, where he's like, "Oh, I'm only interested in this one girl, and I'm gonna be with her <laughs> because that's what I am." A little bit like if it's gonna if it's gonna be a harem comedy, then you need to go on the harem part. You don't just jump around from going from being a shonen to a etchy to all these other things because you don't have an identity and you don't know what this is supposed to be about. It's one thing if it was like separate stories, but it's not. It's all one continuous thing and it does no direction. The anime had a direction. It was a comedy with curry zombies. <laughs> You know, Goten's in high school now, Vanny. You can switch. <laughs> you can switch out. Get screwed in with Goten. I would rather that. That actually wouldn't be too bad. You know what? I wouldn't even have regular Goten do it. I don't care. That's fine, too. <laughs> God, that'd be awful if you play Goten. Anyways, so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Rosario oh, Vampire oh. is. Any other gripes? What did you like? You know, what? I mean, aside from volume 9 or whatever, till towards the end, I mean, here or there, there were a couple, like, the suku suku drop thing, as pointless as it was, it was funny. The family one, fam parent day, that was funny too. The Olympics thing was okay. Did you just say fam parent day? No, the parents did. I don't know. I heard fam parent day. I don't think I said that. I might have. I don't know. It's almost 3 in the morning. I might have said that. But, I mean, it, there were a couple parts here and there. But overall, season one, you could have skipped it. Nothing, mm -hmm. none of that happens. Season one had no effect on season two. You could just read from season two on, and you're fine. So any person that wants to read this manga, season two, you're fine. Season one, skip it. Pointless. So, very. 
after I finish uh, Eighth MS and you finish uh, Plus Size Elf, what are we doing after that? Whoa, 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 whoa. I am in the middle of reading the Ooku, so I'm not reading any of your crazy manga right now. <laughs> but, you know, after we do that, after you do that and finish my thing, what's after that? Because I'm currently watching 8th MS. I don't know, you won't watch G Gundam. Because I don't have anywhere to watch it without ads and shit. Oh no, the ads. Heaven forbid there's ads. People gotta get paid. I pay for Hulu and Netflix without ads. I hate ads. So, miss me. Yes. Overall, would you recommend it? <sighs> Would I recommend it? No, I don't recommend it. Um, I mean, if you really want to jump into it, like I said, start at season two. Don't I recommend it. season one. I recommend reading the entire thing. No, in this because... in JoJo, you cannot skip parts, but in this case, you can definitely skip a whole season. Because... Maddie's just a stick in the mud, but I, I recommend not... you read the whole thing I if you want the full experience. The full experience, yeah. Get the full Monty of... Rosario Vampire. However, I don't recommend the anime. I would say, if you watch the anime, don't expect the manga, because it's a totally different thing. If you go in thinking yes, that no, you're going to see... Yes, no, it is a completely different thing. Yeah, if you're going to go in thinking that you're going to see the manga, you're not going to. And then you'll have a bad time, like you did. No, because I watched the anime first, and then I switched over to the manga. Hmm. Well, that's backwards, but unfortunate. But at least the anime has a direction. It's perverted. No. It's an edgy. It's you, a comedy. Vanny, I watched the bad thing first, and then I read the good thing. <laughs> yes. But it wasn't good. The manga wasn't good. But it was good. It it got decent. I will give it that. It got decent, and then it fumbled at the end zone. On a scale of Yukari being the lowest and Misery being the highest, what would you give it? That's an odd rating system you have. I'm supposed to rate it based on the waifu? Yes, Yukari being the lowest, and Mocha being, like, somewhere in the middle, Kurubu being the higher one, and, like, Ruby being, like, the lower one. Which would you give it? I rated a solid Nekonabe, or whatever the teacher's name was. Nekonome? She's not even a part of this. That's, no. That's, that's her rating. That's the rating. There's a cat girl homeroom No, teacher. but seriously, one to ten, how, how much would you give it? That's Three. No, a you have three. to give it something higher than that because you said it got decent. Okay, a four. Not be serious. At least I like am a, being six serious. Or a seven. It's no, no, absolutely not a six or a seven. If it had a better ending, because I was expecting everybody had a recap. Haiji and Kokoa end up together. Gin and Kurumu end up together. Mizore went off and did whatever shit with the. Snow people. You got with Yuki from your comics. We know this. Well, correct. Yes. Um, Yukari, Yukari, and oh, Ling Ling end up together. I was expecting something like that, and I would have been fine. I would give it that seven, but we didn't get that. It just went right back to the beginning. Oh, we're all doing the same shit again. The end. Oh, by the way, Sukune has different hair now. The end. Like that's it. So no. What if four. we replace Sukune with Goku from the end of GT, where he grows up again? What is wrong with you? What? No, More. that that's your fanfic. Um, no, no, we're not doing that. That's your weird fan fiction thing. You're such an asshole. I Is know this because I'm one of my favorite mangas? Oh my goodness! You need to find better manga to be your favorite because this one was rough. What if Vanny? Now hear me out. They replace Skune with Sanguinius. And with that, I am going to leave because I will not. I will not entertain I, your weird fan I will fiction not of Rosario the Vampire. <laughs> You don't want it. What? You wouldn't want Gin Sanguinius to be a harem protagonist. No, I don't want to see anything with 40k and Rosario Vampire. Are you we still are... recording, or are you like done? No, this is still recording. <laughs> well, this is, now this is it. Well, now, Vanny, since it's uh. We can have A's. We gotta end it with a little song. No, no, not with these review ones. We're not doing that because it's already two and a half hours. No, no, I want you the punky rap. I'll do something else. What? Step into the great tour, great tour. Congratulations, you made it to the end. The cringe is over.
Put those videos in the box. Do it. Do it.